Got it. Roger that. All right. Uh, let's get my camera together here. This looks pretty dirty. And all right. All right. Economicbusiness.com. Three hundred and sixty CEOs. And let's go over to Zoom. If we can stick in the room. Yeah. Hmm. All right, 360 CEOs, really, which one hundred feet of 345,000, we have a million dollars in the bank, and that's penny. That's penny. All right, I hope everybody catches on here so they can start getting some real money. Let's see. Oh, we have something special tonight. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Sign in. And let's see. Uh, and, and, uh, something special tonight, okay? All right. Let's see. We have up here that special. Let's see what we can do. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can get up here to uh, TikTok. All right. Thank you, everybody. 360 CEO, Derek Whitehead. Uh, we're supposed to have something special tonight. I wonder what it is. And yeah, let me see if I can unveil what they have for me to show me that is special. Yeah. Okay, something I must have put out there that I was going to do today. And now they're surprising me with it. Okay, that's fine. And... And the other one. Let's see. All right. Thank you, everybody, for joining. 360 CEOs, Derek White in here. I've had my fun during the day making a bunch of money. Now I'm coming to here to show you how to make some. How about that? Uh, what is that? Oil? <laughs> uh, Let's see. Let's see if I can open that. And one participant. Something's wrong. Hey, what's going on here? I think I'm in the wrong Zoom, Dylan. I think I'm in the wrong Zoom. Hmm. Right 
think I'm in the wrong meeting, Billy. <laughs> yeah, so many meetings today. Okay, I'll get it. All right. Uh, live. Let's see. Clear out of here. And, 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 and. And let's see. Let's go let's see. All right, I think I'm in the right one now, Melinda. Okay, we're in now. Millie, can you hear me? Millie, can you hear me? Uh, Millie, are you there? Can you hear me? Millie. Let's see. Okay. All right, there are no slides up. All right, economicmentry.com, 360 CEOs. We're not brokers, we're not fighters, we're not attorneys. We are consultants. And if you're looking for anybody in those areas, please consult those people. We think we, we, uh, we have a wonderful uh, treat for you today. Uh, nice to see you, Brandon. What's going on? We have a great treat for you today. Uh, I'm going to bring on later on uh, somebody that was out on a Hey, how are you? I knew it. Hey, how are you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Let me see who's this. Miguel T. Wade. D.D. Wade. Oh, both of y'all. Those are street fighting champions. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Bishop Thompson. Richard Clark. We hey, got some people in here. Oh, man, you guys are coming on here like crazy. We're going to have to do some serious teaching today, huh? We're going to give you some stuff that you haven't been privy to. We're going to go right into, you know what we're going to do today? We're going to go right into that big money. It is it a big money? We usually start off with the small money. We're going to go a little bit of small money, then we're going to go big money, all right? Because I want everybody to understand what they can actually get from the bank. We can't be doing the same thing all the time. We got to come in and elevate all right we're going to elevate so some of the things we were doing today that we were successful at and we're going to bring in somebody today that was on the uh on the yacht and he's a uh actually a basketball agent pro basketball agent right and uh and uh we're going to introduce him and we do a very special thing with him and so uh we want to show you how big things can get all right, that's what we do in the daytime, right? So, hello from California. Hello. So everybody knows this ain't no regular uh, webinar. It's not like come in and uh, buy my product. And if you don't need us. So I want everybody to know that, first of all, we're economicministry.com, 360 CEOs. We're not brokers. We're not finders. We're not attorneys. Uh, we are consultants. And as consultants, we believe everybody is a friend out there, so we can give you this information freely. Now, again, I'm on a timer, and I've been scolded a lot of times here to say, Mr. Derek, you never stay on the timer. So I'm going to try to get as much as I can of uh, 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 being on this timer and try to stick to, <laughs> stick to it. But you know how I am. I always got to throw some extra in there. All right? So uh, let me see. Where do I start? Uh, anybody got any ideas where I should start? That's why I want somebody out there to 
give me some ideas. Where, where do you think I should start? You know, we got Scratch Pump Co. And then we got Take Your Company getting private equity money. And then we got Take Your Company's public, right? That's it. Boom. Level to this. So where, is, where do you think we should start? Or LLC, your season eight self course. How much to start? An S Corp. We're not doing S Corps now. If you got an S Corp, that's when you have investors. Remember, C Corp. All right. Uh, startup funding. All right. All right. We're going to hit on that. All right. Today is uh, where do you want to make us rich? <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Somebody said, make us rich. <laughs> Who said that? Who said Abby? <laughs> okay, Abby. Uh, how to get capital for a nonprofit? Well, you don't get capital from a nonprofit. A nonprofit, you get the for profit, and then you have the nonprofit. So when you make so much money that you don't got from the bank, now you, unless you put it back in there, now you have to get a nonprofit so you can adjust some of that money. Got it? And how do you get money from nonprofit real quick? You go in, you get yourself. A uh, foundation, not a nonprofit. A nonprofit and a foundation are the same thing, but a nonprofit uh, is a nonprofit, right? But a foundation can lend money, and now you become a bank. You're like a bank, right? Boom. What else should we talk about? Can we support 92 people here? Uh, tap the screen. Can we support 92, 92 people? If you got 92 people, you need to call economicministry.com, 350 CEO, and let's do. Uh, a private, something private for them. You got 92 people, right? <laughs> if you can't fit on there, let's do something private. Nobody's that daggone big where they can't hook up with you. So remember our affiliate program, right? Now I got affiliate program. So we come in, we teach, 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 and you get paid for us teaching. If you got these large audiences, come in, let's work together. Let's work together, right? Uh, can you get me an appointment, please? Who is that? Can I get an appointment? Been waiting. Uh, join economicmentally.com right now, Ed. And uh, and let's see if we don't, if we'll get you an appointment. Join economicmentally.com, sign up, and join the free webinar. And and uh, raise your hand and say, I'm the guy that said, can you get me a free, can you get me not a free, but an appointment? And it might be free. All right, how about that? Nobody's that damn big where they can't say, here's a little information. All right, uh, very knowledgeable brother right here. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, what's the miss? Ronnie from Hawaii. Let me see who else we got here. I want to go over to the other side. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, foundation, Brandon. You want to talk about the foundation of board members of a C Corp. There's a difference in board members on a C Corp and uh and uh and uh the board members on the c corp are basically the people who are on the board that are older people so when you're trying to go solicit that money remember we solicit money on that next level so when you're trying to solicit money you have board members that are most of the time elderly that that have already experienced what you're trying to do and have been very successful so you put them on the board so the bank or whoever whatever, not the bank, but investors to this level, they feel like, well, you have people that are guiding you that are very knowledgeable in what you do, so they feel more comfortable. That gives you a big edge. Board members, along with uh, a proper pitch deck and and a, uh, and a uh, what do you call it? A letter of intent. A letter of intent. So a lot of people don't know. You know, you may not have... Uh, uh, this or that, but a letter of intent goes a long way. That's basically saying, hey, somebody over here said they're going to do goodness with me for a hundred thousand dollars, a million dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, whatever. Make it make sense based on your company. And now you got a letter saying we are going to do business with them. This is how much business we intend to do. Blah 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 boom on this date, right? And uh, and that's the bank pitch deck, not to the bank investors pitch deck. Sounds good. All right. That's how you that's how you work your way into some money. You want to talk about how to get that that good money. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see what other questions we have here. Okay. Let's see. 
All right, let me look in the chat real quick. A couple of questions. Questions. I've been trying to build my business and not able to because I have been struggling, uh, struggling to do business to make profit. You do not struggle. You do not listen. This is a corporation. This is not meant to do business. Getting a business license is not to do business. If you have a business license, that's just a business license. You need a corporation so you can use the corporation to go get some money. We get money to do business. We don't do business to get money. That's the problem that everybody is, is facing. Those of you that have businesses, you got to understand, you don't struggle for the money. You just go and get yourself a corp, build it like they want it, seven structure, we're going to talk about that, and then walk in as you as a PG and say, give Willie some money. And if Willie messes up, everybody know what's happening then. If you mess up, you're done. If Willie mess up, you say, Willie mess up, not me. Bye, Willie. And you come back with Leroy. And you walk out to your car and bring in Leroy and say, Leroy didn't do nothing. Leroy got good credit. Can you give Leroy some money? And if Leroy messed up, then you walk back in and say, bye, Leroy. Because I don't fall in love with no business, right? The business don't love me. And I walk back in with Wilhelmina, right? <laughs> or Athena. Or Risa, whoever you want to call it, and go get some money with a Risa. All right. Gonna talk about Bitcoin. I don't know much about Bitcoin. Anybody that says they know everything, uh, that's a lie. Anybody that says they know everything, say, okay, bye, I'm out of here. If a person's honest with you and say, I don't know everything, then that means they can still learn. All right. So I know enough about Bitcoin, but not to be a special. All right. All right. So uh, how can I purchase a shelf corp and use my LLC as a holding company? You can use your LLC as a holding company. When you get your season corp, C corp, then you take your any corporation and use it as a holding company. S corp, LLC, C corp, not a nonprofit though, right? And it holds the asset. It holds the asset. You just write a simple letter, and we're going to get into that later on. You write a simple letter and say everything we own belongs to you. But that's good thinking because you're thinking ahead about protecting your money. Nobody teaches you how to protect your money, right? We're not even reading slides today. We're just going off a question and answers here. I like this. Once you pay a fee, uh, how long does the process take when you have good credit? Shoot. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Shoot. Uh, three weeks. If your corp is straight and you got good credit, two weeks, <laughs> right? You start going and getting your money. Money has gotten in tranches. So depend on what documents you have, but we're going and state it. We're going and state it. I don't know if you guys saw that video that we put up today. We'll probably have it up today. Uh, well, today we got first tranche. We have, we're starting to have people say, look, make a video, all right? So we have tons and tons of videos this last week. Last guy we brought up, he got a, today he got $126,000. Just one bank, one stop. And we got a lot of stops to go. So we have that in the testimonials. We need to start showing y'all all these testimonials. All right? We got testimonials on every level, every level. I've been doing this for 30 years, right? <laughs> all right. So, uh, What's going on, Robert? What's going on, son? How you doing? You need five to six final hugs, so not to view it as a hobby to the bank. Thank you, son, for answering that. Robert is my uh, is my is my son. He's a gentleman. He is he has come out of situations and brought himself up, and he has been a part of this from early beginning. And I'm very proud of him. Very proud of him. So. Pretty much Bobby knows what the heck he's talking about. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm sorry. Robert knows what the heck he's talking about. Um, all right. Let's go on to the slides here. Let's, let's, uh, because they're, they're giving these signs up here. So, Mr. Dirk, we're a sign. <laughs> all right. So, what we attempt to learn today is the sequence of how to get 200, 200, 340, 5,000 dollars, a million dollars from the bank to invest, right, in your life and take your, and, and help your family and help your family and teach your children. I ain't, I'm never going to leave that out. Teach your children because we don't want them to go through what the heck we went through. Struggling. So we learn this and we teach them and they just keep growing, growing like the Rothschild, like the DuPont. 
right? Like the Getty, right? Getty, get the sun. All right. So uh, next slide. So we want to do that. You got to go get that one million dollars. And guess what? One million dollars is pennies to the bank. Pennies to the bank. All right. So you want to go out? You want to get nice watches? You want to get nice custom suits? You know, where they lag it all at the bottom. You know, yeah, right. You want to go and get some money from the bank. The bank got all the money in the world. Who has more money in the bank? Can somebody tell me on here, if you can, please put up here and say, who has more money than the bank? I guarantee you can't because the bank prints the money. Who has more money than the bank? Ready? Everybody ready? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> All right. All right. The Queen of England don't have more money than the bank. Because guess what? She is a bank. You know the Vatican is uh, has their own bank. <laughs> All right. Oh man. Uh, versus fiat, right? So there is no real money. Thank you, thank you, David Alexander. Right? There is no real money. Money is gold and silver, and so there is no real money. If I had, I had some gold and silver around here somewhere. I put it up. I guess. Uh, nobody has more money in the bank. All right. Uh, queen do a kitchen. <laughs> Y'all gonna start that stuff now. The queen do a kitchen. <laughs> All right. So what you guys want to do is you want to, you don't want to come here and talk about me, right? We don't want to come here like everybody else. And, you know, I was poor. Now I'm rich. Now look at my houses. Look at my watch. Look at my my cars. No. You did not come here to hear all the stuff about me. You came here to hear how you can get some money. I'm not going to waste your time, right? So I'm going to talk a little bit about me because people say, who are you, Mr. Derrick? Okay, let's do about five minutes of Mr. Derrick, then we're going to get off and start talking about you. All right? Lords of London. Lords of London get their money from the bank. Lords of London get their money from the bank. Uh, everybody, there's only, there's only two people that supply money, and that's going to be the uh, uh, the, the uh, International Monetary Fund, which is a, a world bank, and and the uh, the uh, the, uh, the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. Those are the two banks that run the world money. Anybody else that has that has private money, maybe like a like a Muslim country or something like that, but that money is not really good for circulating around the United States or around the other countries. You know, uh, you can convert that money, but Nah, nobody has more money than the central bank. Put it that way. All right. So now people say, who are you, Mr. Derrick? Who are you? Let's go about five, six minutes out meeting. We're going to move on with that. So first of all, Derek Whitehead, CEO of Alfred Incorporated, 30 years in business, 28 years, almost 30 years, two years of, 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 of crashing and figuring out. Uh, High-end banking, a managed over 20.2 billion on the portfolio of market traded notes. Uh, next slide. Yeah, that's 20.2 with a B million. And so in my world, you say, well, well that's a lot, Mr. Derrick, right? I was up on stage with Stephen A. Smith, and a lot of people may see me um, have that stuff on the internet which says, Derek Whitehead argues with Stephen A. Smith, right? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Can I talk now? Can I talk? <laughs> no, because I came here to teach them. I didn't come here to talk about you and me. <laughs> You have been talking, you're talking, I talk, I talk, talk. I love Stephen Smith, he's cool, he's cool. Uh, Stephen Smith, uh, uh, Barnes, um, Matt Barnes, great ball player, was up there. Um, uh, a brother that made, I don't know, billions, I don't know, millions in, in hair care products, wonderful cat. We had on the other stage, we had uh, Gail King, so just great lineup we had out there. So they put up there, uh, you know, uh, Derek White had argued with Stephen A. Smith. I wasn't arguing. I was just saying, I, I'm here to teach them. Well, can you tell me what the right head about your, how, what made you a success and how you build your brand? Well, first thing I want to tell you is to teach your children and get yourself a corporation and go get yourself in business. I'm not here to talk about me. But can I talk? <laughs> hey. Hey, I ain't trying to be Mr. Celebrity. I'm trying to be Mr. I'm showing you something on how to get that money. Just so we can set that stage straight. 
All right. So, uh, Derek White is funded and, and helped politicians, congressmen, athletes, entrepreneurs, and scale their companies to multi million dollar businesses. And like I said, $20 billion is baby money. The people that I walk around, that I walk around, they look at me as like, you go get some coffee. <laughs> like, I'm like, what I manage 20.2 feet. I can't get out of here, right? <laughs> That's a small cap. I want you to look up small capitalization, a small capitalization, and then you'll understand why this money gets this free. There's people out here have a small fund. A small fund is $25 billion. Can you believe that? And we run around talking about how we can get 100000 All right? I want you to learn how to go get that good money, that $100,000, $500,000. But then I want you to look and see and think, how can I get that billion? Because to, to the bank, a billion is the same thing as $5. It's just numbers in a, in a computer. And I was out with a, with a guy, uh, we was in Philly. Pat Theater. You know, here comes Mr. Derek White. Hey, hey, hey. Got out there. I was with um, uh, 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 the Haitian, um, Herman the Haitian. That's a good brother. The Haitian is a good brother, good hearted brother. I went out there and he, and he uh, presented me and he said something that was very cool. He said, What's the difference in a zero and a billion dollars? He just said a couple of more zeros, just add a one and zero more zeros to it. That's it. That was pretty damn cool, right? So I'd like to give a, a shout out to my man, Herman, Herman the Haitian. And uh, we had a great time out there. And thank you for treating me great and treating me wonderful. Uh, hats off to this. And another thing I want to say is a lot of people be talking about these cats out here, you know, that, uh, you know, that brought a lot of this stuff out here during COVID. Don't forget about those cats. Because those guys came out of those younger guys and they, they threw knowledge out. They threw knowledge out. Boom, 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 boom. And they kind of started everybody on this on this thing, like, you know, uh learning about how to, you know, go go get some money. Learn how to go get money. So I give so I give credit to where the credit is due. And those cats that are out there that was, you know, I'm not gonna name their names, but you know the the popular guys, you know, you know, like, you know. I don't want to name any names. Why are you naming my name? <laughs> but I give credit to those guys. Those cats are um they're on the ball and they started it out. Now it's up to us to take it to the next level. Boom, boom, boom. Like when, you know, uh I saw uh Denzel Washington came up on the stage one time. He said, Yeah, first thing I like to do is, you know, give Lord, you know, uh, grace to God. And um, then the next thing I like to do is like I like to thank everybody who came before me because we stand on their shoulders. So no matter how old I am, I want to thank those cats that came out. Nobody ever does that. They think it's like a rat race. This ain't a rat race, right? Right? Guess what? These cats came out. They did their thing. They do their thing. I'm glad for anybody doing something for themselves. I ain't hate that. Right, so I want to give a shout out to those brothers. So now, uh, Derek Whitehead funded to help politicians, congressmen, athletes, and entrepreneurs to scale their multi uh, uh, scale their businesses, the multi million dollar businesses. I'm the guy sitting in the back, you know. Um, you know, they take the pictures of all these people. I'm like in the back, like this somewhere, you know. You can probably see me on, uh, you know, on Beyonce's mom's uh, uh. Uh, Gala, one of them, I'm, and I'm sitting in the back, you know, and they're going by. You just see me on the internet, you look it up, you see, I'm in the back, back there, you know. <laughs> you know, so I've helped people scale their businesses from, uh, you know, from zero all the way to like, like, um, like Phil Martin. We've helped Phil Martin scale his business from a, from zero, helped him, got it, helped him, assisted him, show him the right place to get his credit, do his Credit. Him and his wife did the credit card, started a $35 million business, um, Riverside Appliance in Temecula, California, and uh, now they just got a $5 million contract with the government. Hooray fulfilled. Still doing wonderful. We got a lot of people like that. All right. So uh, you can, a lot of people are going by Phil's place to ask him, hey, is this guy Derek is out, Derek? You know, he's like, well, Derek built this. <laughs> so please don't bombard Phil. 
You know, I mean, he's there. You want to go back to the plants and do something from it, he's there. But um, good for Phil, right? So over there, we have Patino Mobley. Uh, he's on our website. He says, thank you, Derek, for teaching me. He's on our economicmentor.com. He says, thank you for teaching us all the stuff that you teach me, Derek. Thank you so much. He played ball, pro, a pro baller. Fantastic cat, lefty, right? He played for the Houston Rockets, played with Shaq, he played with all those guys. I always give him a shout out because, you know, uh, that's my main man. Sometimes we, 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 uh, we go at it with each other, but that's my man. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, over there, uh, the beautiful Shantae Moore and myself, you have the lady over there in the red hat, that is uh, Shirley Weber, Dr. Shirley Weber, she's the Secretary of State of California. You know what they do, right? They issue corporations, right? Secretary of State. Over there is, um, is uh, Kimberly Ellis. She ran for the president of the Democratic Party. Boom, and myself, marinate that. Yeah. Over there is a senator and myself. Down there is a congresswoman and myself. Down there in the middle is uh, the guy with the red tie on. He was, uh, he was counsel for two presidents. Down there is a congresswoman, myself, in the tuxedo, and, uh, and uh, who is that? That is uh, Taisha Brown. Look up Taisha Brown. She's in San Diego. She helps people get elected to go to Congress. And then all those kind of people, she helps them get elected. She's another backdoor person, power. And, um, you know, really good friend of mine. She's, she's on our website also. So in case you want to know if we help real people, she's on there. Look her up. She says, thank you, Derek, for helping me. Just because you help people get the power position don't mean that you understand this. All right? This. <laughs> All right. So uh, down at the bottom is Mr. Carnitas. Mr. Carnitas is uh, uh, the president of the Democratic Party. <laughs> Not the Democratic Party. I'm sorry. The president of the Mexican Union. President of the Mexican Union. Okay. That's Kimberly Ellis. President uh, ran for the president of the Democratic Party. Down there at the bottom is Tysha Brown. Look her up. She's on our website. She's in San Diego. Look her up. The first it is. So there's Aisha Brown does this and this and that. Right? And um, politician power. Uh, I like being around people with power. Now, uh, over there, the congressman, you see the little congress came on. Uh, I actually was at the uh, Democratic convention twice. I spoke to these people and I said, you know, uh, like this gentleman here, the congressman, once the festivities are over and he gets a glass of wine, he grabs your hand, you can't get away from him. You know, I was friends with John F. Kennedy. Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> All right, over there is um, there's, uh, two guys that said, Dirk, don't mention our names. I said, okay. Can I show your face? They said, yeah. They said, okay. But if I told you who their company is, you'd probably be like, what? <laughs> yeah, so they flew down there, little private Lear jet, and, uh, and uh, they came down to my office on 7th and B in San Diego, 7th and B in a lovely university club. Nobody's too big to say where they at, where they live at, who they are. People can't tell you where they are. They steam it. <laughs> All right, so uh, some of my um, uh, some of my people came down to visit. Uh, that helped them uh, take part of the company public. Uh, and some of my people came down to visit me and they said, Mr. White, you wasn't there. I said, do I live there? You got to let me know you're coming. Right? So they came down to visit and um, I brought them to my home and then we went up to my ranch. You know, we did some shooting and we went out eating and they're on the, uh, they're on the web website somewhere in there, uh, in Instagram or TikTok. We had a great time, you know, so my students come down on time. In fact, in fact, I just had a few of my, my students this weekend come down. I just had a few of my students come down this weekend, and it was pretty cool. Uh, we recorded it. We're probably going to put it up there. Uh, so nobody's too damn big to say hello. So they came down. They came to my house. We had a great time. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool. You know, uh, we also had, um, uh, we also had a, a great film guy. Uh, that was filming us. I don't know if you guys ever heard of um, of Blaze. Blaze is a bad, bad man. Blaze is the guy that that uh, Kim Kardashian and and uh, Rihanna and uh, and uh, Kanye West. Uh, they pretty much won't let anybody photograph them except Blaze. All right. 
So it was wonderful. Blaze was kind enough to come down and uh, and uh, record me throughout my uh, uh, the seminars, the seminar and stuff. And it was wonderful, wonderful time. This guy's off the chain, right? And so um, I want to just do a lot of thanking to everybody, a lot of people that's been, you know, a part of this, you know, helping this message get out. So uh, the students came down, and we had a guy that was on there, Rick. Rick is a powerful man. When he does his recording, he, he's got to help a lot of people get to where they are on that internet. On that internet. So Rick came down, and some of my students were here, and they brought all this truckload of stuff and cameras and everything, and we recorded it. It was really fun. So thank you, Rick. And uh, thank you to my students. If you're on here tonight, uh, I hope you raise your hand and say hello. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We had a great time. Um, all right. So next slide. We're not going to talk a whole bunch about me, but I wanted to say thank you to some people. Okay. All right. Disclaimer. We're not brokers. We're not attorneys. We're not finders. We're, we're tax people, right? No, we're not tax people. We're none of those things. We're not. And if you're looking for motivation, right, uh, not a problem to be a student. Not a problem. I want you to succeed. This Friday. All right. So um, if you're out there, uh, there's a lot of light coming in here. If you're out there uh, on TikTok or Instagram or, or uh, any of those other platforms, we're not on here. This is free. So you can come sign up for free. Go to economicministry.com, economicministry.com, and come in here. This is free. So you can see a lot of this stuff. And we're going to have free uh, question and answers. So I'm going to attempt to answer your question so you don't need us. This is not come in here and, and, and buy my program. No, it's about you. It's about you. I make a good amount of money in the daytime, right? <laughs> so I want you to succeed, okay? So hop on economicmentions.com. It's free, and we're going to have questions and answers. We may, may not be able to answer all your questions, but we do this twice a week. I try to get it twice a week. If I'm not just stuck down and exhausted, um, I still, even though I come off the plane, I come right here and try to do this because this is my give back. This is my give back. And plus, I don't have a life. I don't have a damn life. All I do is sit here and work, work, work. That's why I lost the family. <laughs> you know, you married to your, to your, to your work. <laughs> no, no, I love you. No, you're married to your work. You got no time for me. Oh, boy. So, Anyway, enough about me. We're not brokers. We're not uh, attorneys. We're not finders. We're not tax people. If you're looking for Tony Robbins, that's motivation. I'm not here to motivate you. If you want motivation, like, yay! Bring it all you can be! You know, give me a break. I'm not here for that. I'm here. If you're not motivated by now, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. All right? So uh, let's get right on into it. We are we are not brokers, not finders, we're not attorneys, we're none of that. Next slide. What we are consultants, and we are consultants. We're here to give you this information from our perspective. This is all our perspective. All right. So we believe everybody out there is a friend, so we will continue to give this information because we believe you are a friend. All right. So we will continue to give this info. Uh, all right. So getting the money. How are we going to get the money? We're going to get the money from credit corporation and funding. Credit corporation and funding. We're going to slide through this so we can get into some more serious stuff. But there's a lot of people who've not seen this before, so I want to make sure nobody's left behind so you can understand what other people have seen when they were here. So I'm going to ride through this real quick and then we're going to start getting to the more serious money. So this time, all right, it's time. This is a community, if you will. This is my community. All right, so. I don't want to be like anybody else on the internet. What I want to do is, what I want to do is, I want to go in and uh, have each one teach one. All right? Each one teach one. How about that? All right? So if some people have never heard this before, so I'm going to slide through this, and then we're going to start getting into some higher level money. If you already understand this stuff, just be patient. And I'm going to always slip some, extra, slip some extra stuff in there. And believe it or not, believe it or not, people say, there's a lot of stuff you say already this way, but you know where the real teaching comes in? Question and answers. 
question and answer is where the real stuff come in a lot of times because people ask questions that are that are not on here. That's where the stuff always gets interesting and always gets uh you know like real people issues. You know? So let's get to this, let's get by this. This uh for the people that have not been here before, uh and for those who want to who did not get it all down, packed, nobody's left behind. This is my community. I'm taking it very seriously. So nobody's left behind. So uh what I want to do is, is so you credit corporate fund that's how we're going to get the money. So get your seed money, foundation capital, and springboard funding. You need some seed money to get popping to get started. If you've already got it going, now you need some foundation. You can't build a house on two a two-story house on six inches of concrete. Because your wife will tell you, no, honey, you should have built it on 12 inches. It will not hold it. You're gonna be oh <laughs> all right. So you gotta have a good foundation, and then your springboard. Uh, capital. So some people tell you on the internet, I'm not an internet guy. I'm not a guy that went on the internet talking about, you know, uh, I learned from all the gurus on the internet, then I went to all the seminars, and now I put it all together, and now I got packages to sell, and here I am, you know, uh, talking about I'm a, a guru. I was doing this stuff from before the internet was even popping. 30 years ago, we had big phones, this big area. <laughs> I remember phone booths, that's how old I am. Right, I just look like this. Right, I've been around since like dirt. Right? <laughs> All right, I just look like this. Right, so uh, get your uh, seed money, foundation capital, springboard funding. So think about that billion idea, uh, dollar idea. A lot of people on the internet they'll say we'll help you get your credit together, and then they say bye, or they'll help you get your corporation together, and they say bye, or they'll help you get you know, your credit and your corporate you go get some funding and you get a hundred thousand, fifty thousand, you'll say, bye. Oh, come on, you need more money than that. All right. The earth is not flat. You're not gonna go get a hundred thousand dollars and then fly off the earth, right? You just keep going, right? <laughs> so so this is that's your micro money. I want you to think your macro also. So who's gonna teach you about getting that billion dollars? And it is possible. It is highly possible. So the day that you stop thinking that you can go all the way up is the day that you will stop going all the way up. Make sense? Everybody else can go all the way up. So Oprah can have five billion. Trump can have, I don't know how many billion, right? Or Bezos can have a hundred billion. What does that tell you? That tells you with a 506, woo woo, a 506 is unlimited money. These people can get unlimited money. These people have making them look like babies too. Just, just, just think about it now. So, but those people don't want to be famous. They don't want you kidnapping their kids. They don't want all that craziness. They say, I ah, look, yeah, I have untold money, but I don't want you uh, to know who I am. Bezos wants you to know who he is because, you know, uh, for some whatever reason, you know, Amazon, it, it helps his brand. Trump wants you to know who he is. Uh, it didn't say, uh, you know, uh, Oprah wants you to know she is in the payment business, but there's people like you ever know notice about think about Chase Bank. You know how much money they have. Chase Bank, they make they make they make Oprah and Trump and Bezos together look like babies. That's how much money there is out there. Money out here. So think about your billion dollar game, your billion dollar pitch. All right, so okay, Mr. White is preaching again. All right, so I'm gonna stop preaching and let's start teaching. I just want you to get this mindset. You gotta have the mindset. If you don't have the, somebody said 845 billion. Yes! Woo wee! That's probably a year. <laughs> that ain't, that, that, that's probably a year. So you know, uh, there's a company called Sales, Salesforce, right? They do automation, right? I looked them up. They make like six billion a year or more. Their stock is like forty-three or something, forty something dollars a share. Whoo wee! So come on now. Let's get popping. All right, so United States is a corporation. United States is a corporation. It is a corporation, it is a business out of Delaware. Look it up. United States is a corporation. A corp is a person. 
This is a person. They made the thing here a person. So let's start talking fast because uh, they got me on the timer here. So the United States is a corporation, and the uh, this is a corporation. The corporation is a person in Latin. We want to learn Latin. We've been speaking Aramaic, a poor language. We want to learn the language of Latin, right? So the United States of America is a corporation, and they separated themselves and said, listen, everybody else can work for their money. We're going to separate ourselves and make up an entity, a corporation, that it won't be us responsible. It will be the court. And nobody caught on to this except the rich. So they use this thing to get money. They don't, and, and the poor people or the people that don't have the billions, they use this money, they use this so they can work. But do you really want to go and buy yourself a job? You might as well stay at the job you're working on. You're not trying to buy a job. You're trying to gain independence when you don't work and work and work and work. You do non-performance income. I don't work. I use this to go get some money. And then after I get the money, then I take that money that I got from this, which is a special purpose entity, and I put that money to work and let those people work. And I sit back and say, how much money you bring me? I gave you the money to go, go get some deep business. That's what we want to do. Non-performance income. All right. So the corp is a person. You need to own your own corp, own your own straw man. So a lot of people are trying to become sovereign. I, I dig it. You know, there's a lot of uh, things and treaties and stuff like that that we that we should know. But they figured this out a long time ago, how to, how to not become sovereign and just get a corporation and that's be your straw man. Boom, bam, boom, drop the mic, bam, go get some money. <laughs> right? So control everything and own nothing. The corporation has all the money, gets all the money, state and income, no doc, and you control it. You're not responsible, right? The corporate is responsible. But that's how we're going to do it. Next slide. All right, the first thing you need to do is you need to have a good, be a good PG. What's a PG? We need credit corp funds, credit corporation funding. So a good PG is going to be what? Anybody know? Anybody know? Claim, claim your, just, what's that say? Uh, what's this say? I like to read some of the things people say. What are we saying here? Claim your what? Uh, claim your just to trust. Huh? Well, yeah, you can claim your trust. You can claim you can claim your money. You can go out and go through that process, or you can just walk in, just go get some money, get a corporation, and you'll get some money, right? Don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Learn the game and be a player. I don't hate any of these people. I love. Matter of fact, I think they're geniuses. You come to a country and 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 do all of this and just live like kings and queens on paper, paper. Come on, it's a beautiful thing, right? So, okay, let's stick to, the, to uh, how we get this money, right? You need to be a good PG, a personal guarantor. What's a personal guarantor? That means who's going to get the money? The bank, you say to the bank, Willie's going to get the money. You say, who's going to uh, pay us back? Willie's going to pay us back. They say, well, it's really going to pay you back. You're not giving us any documentation, no doc, and stated income. Let's write that down. No doc and stated income. And then, you're going to say, okay, well, since you're not giving us no documentation, who is going to make sure we get our money back? Who's going to guarantee it? Because you're not giving us no documentation or nothing. So you say, I am, because I have a good FICO. So let's talk about the FICO. Difference between a FICO and a credit score. A credit score is personal, and a FICO is in trying to fund a corporation. I would prefer you fund a corporation and fund yourself. So if you mess up, you're dead in the water for seven years, like you broke a mirror or something. <laughs> right? Yeah. Man, uh, what you got? That's what you, got. <laughs> you know, so we ain't trying to go that route. We don't have bad luck, right? Knowledge presents good luck with the help of God, with the help of good old Lord, right? So you want to go in and make sure we have a good fight though. So what is a good fight though? A good fight all consists of this. Well, so hopefully everybody has a pencil and a piece of paper that have not seen this before and write this stuff down. Because we're going to fly through this because I want to get into some heavier stuff. It's time to, time to get the babies off milk and start giving the babies some, some, some substance. Right? All right. 
Can you take something for this? Some substance. There you go. Some substance. There you go. <laughs> like Eddie Murphy said, some substance. <laughs> All right. So now let's get through this. Uh, uh, you want to have a good FICO score. What's a good FICO score? Look at your driver's license, whatever's on your driver's license. If it says, if it says, uh, your name is John Harris, don't have John Harris, John J. Harris, Harris J. That's you. But to the bank, no, that looks like aliases. And you only have 50 points approximately to go down. So they're going to go boop, boop, boop. So they look like aliases, right? So get them off your credit report. Number two, the whatever address, one address. Don't be having all these other addresses. But you look unstable. Why do you think the bank asks you in a form and trying to get money? How long have you lived where you live? And stop saying I lived there for six months. That makes you look like you, you're unstable. So you go down in points. So you should have at least two years of your residence. That's what they like. All right? So that's good FICO now. We're talking about FICO. And we have other things that they call it, but we're going to talk FICO now. All right? So the next thing is no more than three inquiries. No more than three inquiries. You can have more than three inquiries in your funded personal, but if you mess up, that's it for you. So we're not going that route. So what we want to do is we want to have no more than three inquiries. Right? Next thing is we want to make sure that we have no no less than five trade lines. What's the trade line? Mr. Dirk? Trade line is when you go in and somebody gives you credit and they put that on your credit report, that's a trade line. So you want to have no less than five of those. Five trade lines. Okay? Let's get back up here. And let's see if we can straighten this thing out. Back up. Okay, that's better. That's better. Oops, let's go back. Okay. You know, these good things want to be sentimental today, Millie. What you doing to my stuff, Millie? <laughs> I blame everything on Millie. <laughs> All right, so you want to have. One address, right? Whatever, whatever on your credit, whatever on your driver's license is the address that you want. One name, right? Not a bunch of names. No more than three inquiries, right? Or you're not getting there any money. Not on a corporation. You're not, right? Uh, there's a lot of light coming in here. Why is that? Okay. All right. So uh, the next thing is no less than five trade lines. Right, no less than five trade lines. If you have 22 trade lines, and always keep getting credit, keep getting credit, but not too fast, but keep getting credit. Because once you reach 22 trade lines, boom, you in the house. You get whatever he, I mean, you just what I want. I want apartment complex. Yeah, you got 22 trade lines, paying on time. Sure. All right. So we want to make sure that a lot of times I say to everybody, I say no less than no less than five trade lines, but don't think that five trade lines is it. That will help you get your money. But we want as many trade lines as we can get to repay it on time. All right? Okay, so, uh, and we're going to always increase our credit, right? So we want to get to that. So now, we want to make sure we go in and we have uh, no less than five trade lines, or they call that a thin file, a thin file. And you don't want for 50 points approximately to be going down, 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 and then you're down here to a declination. Now, I used to teach some of these guys, I know, underwriting. So you don't want to be so far down to where they say, stamp, no. That means declination. That means no, decline. We don't want that. We want to stay as high as we can so we can get maximum funding. So why is it one person doing the same thing you're doing and they're getting, you know, $500,000 and, you know, $1 million dollars and you only getting fifty thousand or hundred, or maybe ten thousand, right? Because you're not staying up there. Uh, nobody's teaching you the rules on how to stay up there. People will tell you, "I can get you this money," but are they online telling you how to get it? The bank, the whole bank. You get your credit card, get right. Then get your corporation. Then have to get your corporation. Then go in and just get the funding and have your corpse set up this way and this way. 
The way I'm teaching you, who's going to teach you all this on the internet for free? Nobody. That's why I find it necessary. We need to start teaching and stop being hoarders of information. Go out, help yourself, and raise all of what you want. I mean, you don't need to say, I'm not going to give the sauce because I'm going to make money off people giving them a piece of the sauce and doing it for them. Yes, that's backwards. That's backwards. Guess what's upside, what's right side up? You know what it is? Work on yourself and work on getting you billions of dollars from the bank. How about that? And then you can give all the sauce you want. You ever thought about that? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I mean, we got a way of thinking. You know, like, well, if I give them this, then they're going to know what I know. I, when I got to make money off them, I got to go get them to uh, start the credit repair agency. Oh, I got to start the I'll fund you agency. When you getting that from people can never outdo how much money you can get from the bank. A lot faster uh, and a lot more. Quicker. Marinate on that. Some people say, I'm going to go out and I'm going to sell shoes. Oh, I'm going to do marketing. That's what I'm going to do with my business. Oh, I'm going to sell cars. I'm going to start a car dealership. How long do you think it would take you to make a billion dollars in a car dealership? You know how many cars you got to sell? <laughs> you have in a lifetime, right? All right. So guess what? As a marketer, how many people you got to sell to make a $500 million in marketing? That's a whole lot of people. Well, guess what? I just said, when, guess what? Okay, guess what? So you go in, you got your corporation. If you build your corporation and then pull up about a year from now, you're ready to get, you know, you're going to get your million. And once you get your million, now you're ready to ride because you're an accredited investor. Accredited investor, boom. Okay, now, once you become an accredited investor, because you already got all the, all the basic money, the credit cards, and all the money, you know, all the little money, you know, you already got the couple of million, you know, they don't give me money, Mr. Whitehead. Well, they give it to me. I ain't no different from you, right? You don't got all the unlimited cards, all the cards, all the, all the, right? Now you got to know go to the next level. It's easier to go in and 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 build the corporation after you get a million, one point five million. Now you do go in and go five hundred thousand. You ready to go in and do private equity? Do you know that you can get a million dollars from one person, five million dollars with a five hundred four? You now going into some of that other stuff. Now I want y'all to pay attention. With a five hundred four, you can go in and get five million dollars. From one person, how long would that take? How long would it take you to go get $5 million in whatever you're talking about? If it ain't from the bank or it ain't from investors, you you slow. You're like a turtle. I just, I'm just saying, marinate on this. You can go in and use this corporation and go public and do, let's talk about what Donald Trump just did. Anybody know what Donald Trump just did? Put up here, if anybody knows what Donald Trump just did recently. IPO, ooh, Jaden. What did what Donald, Donald Trump just do? Anybody know? He went, what, 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 what? Three to four billion dollars in one, in three days. Three days, he went, Public. That's what he went. He went public. Now, is Donald Trump on here showing you how to go public? Is anybody else on the internet showing you how to go public? Nobody. We're going to talk about that today. All right. So let's get by this and let's get by this quick because uh, this stuff has uh, set fire under me. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Donald Trump just went public, and we've been trying to teach everybody here for a minute, and this guy goes public. I want to let you know how long would it take you to make three to four billion dollars? It took this man 
to build the corporation properly, go out, get a pitch deck, try to place the memorandum, C Corp, and go to and solicit investors with a 506, right, a credit investor, and then go public and make three to four billion dollars. Okay? All right. So let's get by this. I want a timer. Let's get by this and then let's jump into how we're going to get that big money. No games. No games here. No more games. No, no more games. <laughs> Man, this guy's crazy. What the hell am I what? Why are you inviting me in? This guy's crazy. <laughs> All right. So everybody understand the FICO. You need to have a good FICO. If your FICO is not straight, get that stuff off there. Call those people up. Go in. And uh, anything that you feel is not, co is not correct, call up, get the FTC report, go and get your download the FTC report, and then, uh, and then shut down all of those agencies. Shut down all of those agencies. Okay? Now, I want everybody uh, to, to help me out here. What agencies are we going to shut down? Help everybody out. Who's going to shut down? We're going to shut down LexisNexis. Who else? Enobit, all the secondaries, ARS. Everybody writing this down? SageStream. What does SageStream do? SageStream holds the inquiry. So they can't, if you're out, out, they cannot check your stream, SageStream. Get it off your credit, right? Lexus Nexus, ARS, CoreLogic. CoreLogic, check system, right? All 42 secondary agencies, all right? Shut down them all. Shut them all down. Core logic. I want everybody to write this stuff down so they know what they're doing. So you shut down those people. Then you go in and you do your FTC report, download it online, freeze that, right? Clergy system. Yes, yes, yes. And then once you do that, then you're going to mail off, cop, print that out, copy your job license, copy of your, um, uh, copy of your job license, a copy of your social security card, a color copy and a bill like a like a utility bill and send that off to all three bureaus and make sure that you get a return address because you're going to send it out with a you're going to send it out that's called a uh return uh a certified and return so when they sign for it you know they got it so they can't lie if they didn't get it now you got 30 days start clicking countdown after 32 days call them up if they didn't get that stuff off there that you figure is inaccurate you're going to say, listen, you are over 31 days. You said you didn't complete my stuff yet. Don't let them say that. Now it all has to come off because they only have 30 days and they must. Don't let them say, oh, well, we're not completing. That ain't my fault. I'm going by the law. Okay. So get that stuff off. If they give you a hard time, then you go in and say, I would like to speak to a representative in the United States of the fraud department. And they keep, and they keep transferring you, transferring you. On, don't you say anything until you say, yes, I'm a, a representative of the fraud department, uh, and yes, I'm in the United States. Then you say, fuck, say what you need to get out of there. Got it? All right, let's go to the next slide. Step one, credit, right? Credit corp fund, get your credit together. Step two, we want to go in, we want to explain corporation. You're going to need a corporation because you're going to fund the corporation. It is your straw man. That's the way this game works. You want billions? C Corp. Stop playing. All right. Nobody's going to teach you that. They're still pushing LLC. <laughs> Has anybody seen me yet? <laughs> All right. <laughs> the trillions. Who said that? Cordell Haywood. My man. My man. There you go. Trillions. Do you know at night when the bank closes, and I know, okay. When the bank closes, guess what? The bank trades at night in trillion dollar trades. I didn't say million, billion, I said trillion dollar trades. I'm just saying. All right, so let's go to step number two. We're going to structure your company the right way. So the first way to structure your company is going to be the seven structures. So you're going to have your corporation, then you're going to have your DBAs underneath your corporation, doing business ads. And you're going to have as many of those as you want. And then you're going to take 
that corporation and protect your money. And you're going to say, this is my protection, my holding corp. So that's why you have Bank of America holding, Walmart holding. All these companies have holding corp. Why? Nobody's teaching you this. So you got to protect your money. You can't just get money. It's easier to get than it is to keep it. So protect it. So you have a holding corp. You say, write a letter. Everything we own goes to you, the holding corporation. Everything we own, all assets. So if they sue the baby or they sue the mama, guess what? They can sue the company. Bye, Willie. Bye, Willie. But you come back with Leroy, but you own, still own all the assets because the assets are held in the holding court. All money, all trucks, all everything. And just put those in the new company and keep it moving. Right? All right. So the holding court. So you got the sea court. You got the baby going underneath it. And then you go back up to the corner, the seven, and you go out, holding court, and that's of course you call a bail, corporate bail, learn the language. So get your corporate bail, then you go in, after your corporate bail, then you put all the people in the holding court in a trust, the shareholders in a trust. And now that is a super bail. You know how you can see a woman, but you really can't see because she's got a bail over her face, right? So it's a super bail inside the United States or outside the United States. Jurisdiction. That's a serious one. Outside of that. Thing. All right. So that is your seven structure. Right? All right. So now the next thing we want to learn is to structure corporation the right way. The next thing is we get a corporation to do business. We don't do business and work out behind off to get money. We don't do it like that. All right. What do we do? We go and we get money to do business. We don't work our behinds off to, to, to get money. That's what 85% are doing. So we're not going to do that anymore, right? We're going to go and get our corp and just go to the bank and get some money. That's our best friend. That's our best thing. All right. And so uh, now the next thing is we're going to let's understand these corporations, right? So we have an LLC, an LLC. You got. Girl, you got an LLC? I ain't know you had an LLC. Girl, I'm girl, please. I've been at my LLC. <laughs> you got the LLC, right? Okay. All right. Yeah, you got the LLC. Okay. But uh, LLC means limited. So that means you got your I'm not getting no money corporation. That's what you got, right? <laughs> so LLC means limited liability. All right. So. You got, look, uh, let me say something to you. Help us form your, for your LLC. With a couple of clicks, you too can have your LLC, right? Call 1-9-800-such-and-such-and-such-mark, such-and-such, and then help us get you your LLC today. So imagine this. You're sitting over there, and you have like a, uh, you know, you're talking to a guy, talking to a girl, or Girl talking to a guy, or, or a guy talking to a guy, or a guy, girl talking to a girl. I don't know how you're doing it, right? Look, ain't none of my business, right? So the thing is, let's say it's a guy talking to this, this lady at the gas station. He said, you know, we've been talking for a long time. Why don't we, um, you know, like an hour now. It's been a good conversation. You know, yeah, I know. You seem like you know each other forever, you know. Um, you want to you want to change number? Get your number. She said, okay. She pulls out her phone. What's your number? You know, so he said, okay, well, you know, uh, I want to be honest with you because I've been honest up to now. You know, I'm an honest guy. Said, okay, what's your number? Okay, what you got to say? So she's like, and you're like, I'm limited. I'm limited. Yeah, I'm limited. you limited? She's looking at you like this. What you mean you limited? <laughs> I'm looking like this. What you mean you're limited? Right, you're saying, well, um. And I want to get it all out. You know how they are, right? Just tell me everything. You know how they are. <laughs> everything. So you say, okay, well, I also want to tell you that um, I got liability. You're like, you limited with liability. What you, what? What you got an ankle bracelet on with that? What your mama, daddy, is that baby daddy after you? What the heck? What you talking about? No, nah, I'm just saying, I'm limited. I got liability. So you know what, you know what you're going to say? You're going to say, I, I forgot I gotta pick my baby up. Well, what you mean? It's 10:30 at night. 
Well, he's in night school. I gotta go. <laughs> going to happen to you all right that's the same thing going to happen to you when you walk in the bank talking about i got my uh, what do you want here in the bank i want really want some money uh what kind of entity is really a llc the bank gonna say uh okay <laughs> look we uh let me see what time is it hurry up and get you out of here because we don't deal with risky things. LLC is limited liability. LLC, that's for like a doctor or like construction or, or a truck driver. That's risky, dangerous. A doctor is dangerous thing. Or like like a real estate, they put things in LLC so they can move around really fast. Got it? So what we're looking at is now the next thing is an escort. So a guy says to you or a woman says, hey, you know what? Um, I hit the lottery or I came in some money. I want to invest in your company. Let's go, you know, let you make money, I make money, right? You say, well, you know, I don't want to be a part of your company because I don't want to pay all that capital gains. So I just want to be an investor, right? You say, well, you know what? I got an escort. That's just what that's for. So if you don't have investors, why do you have an escort? People have to explain this. They got to explain this stuff to you, right? <laughs> all right. And so the next thing is C-Court. Woo-wee. D court, that's the mama, of course. All right, so let's look at a C court. C court. So you can get a C court like this, where you just have the information in it. And let's describe a C court real quick. C court is this it is a person. You're a person, it's a person, it's an entity. They call it an entity. Court, a dead body you bring to life. So it is a person. If you are the police run your ID and they say, hey, uh, you're okay. You check out no warrants or nothing. Well, then you're in good shape, right? Well, that's the same thing with the court right here. It's a good standing letter. It says with the, the seal on it, it says you're not in trouble. Corporation. It's a person. You're a person. Everything you have, it has. Then they go in and say, here's something that's called the Articles of Incorporation. The Articles is like a birth certificate for the corporation. So it says, this is where I was born, this is my name, this is what I do, and guess what? Uh, and guess what? I'm gonna abide by all the laws that are applicable either in this day or wherever. And uh, that's article, that's its first certificate. After you get those two, corporation, now you're creating a person, building it up as a baby, right? And now you're gonna go and get your EIN number. EIN number, I want you to write down a SIC code, SIC code, what is the SIC code? A SIC code is when you, uh, SIC code, that's an identification. Let's say you're a truck driver in the transportation industry. Your SIC code may be 1567-3542. 1567, I'm, I'm a truck driver. 3542, I am in the transportation industry. So that's a SIC code, right? They got a SIC code and mixed code, pretty much the same thing. So write down SIC code and write down SIC code on Google what a sick code bank like and what a sick code bank do not like. And now you know what not to name your company. So if you go and talk about I'm a trucking company, bye, you ain't getting no money. Because it's risky. You want to go in and say, look at the things that banks like. Now what do they like? They like marketing, they like technology, they like uh they like uh consulting. So figure out what they like and then go in and Name your corp that and go get the money. If you're doing trucking, don't go and talk about I'm doing trucking. Because you ain't going to get the money if you get a little bit, right? And an LLC, you ain't going to get highly nothing either because it's limited. So these are some of the reasons why people don't get money. If you have knowledge, you can get that money. You don't have to do all this marketing. You don't have to do all this work. You go in and get the money and then you lend it or you put other people to work and they bring you back some. That's how investors do it. All right? We want to be investors. We want to be like the bank. We want to be like the, the thing that has the most money. We want to duplicate that. We, want, we don't want to duplicate everybody else who's struggling. They don't have a clue. You dig? <laughs> Dale on. All right. So we have to change our mindset. 
We want to go in and make sure that we are doing things where we're not struggling. It's called non-performance income. We don't work, we don't sing, we don't dance unless we like doing it. We don't do it for the money. Wealthy people go to investors or they go to the bank, they get the money, and then they lend the money to you, or they get the, get the money, and they say, you want to sell cars? Here's some money. Go sell some cars, the bank's money, and bring me back some. I pay the bank, and I'm happy. You do, you go work. All this working, working. You're going to teach your kids how to go work at the post office? You're going to teach the kids, or you're going to teach them how to sit at home in the office and manage their money? What's going on with this? You know what Wall Street is? Wall Street is where everybody looks at businesses and gives them their money, and they sit back, and they don't do nothing. They give this big, you know, Wall Street manages the money, and they sit back. That's the mindset that we want to have, okay? I got to get it to, to you. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, so now, we want to make sure we got the LLC understood, the S Corp understood, the C Corp is the mama, of course. Now I've been talking about, I've been talking about, whether you know it or not, not a lot of things that we need to talk about. I'm trying to go into and show the people that have never been here before the basics, but I'll keep sliding in the higher level because there's levels to this thing. And it's time for me and you to get to the next level. So I'm going to start giving you more of these diamonds, right? So we don't have, we're not going to be doing all this marketing and this. If you like marketing, do marketing. Nothing wrong with that, right? But have somebody that likes doing marketing and get the money from the bank and then go and say, you like marketing? Yeah, I'll give you some money to do marketing because guess what? The bank gives you money and a lot of this stuff is not even no interest on it. No interest. So if I got 100000 200,000, well, that's more than 100, 200, 300. Some of these are unlimited stuff, yeah, but I'm just saying. Three, 400, 500. You say, how much does it take for you to start your car business? 100,000? Go start your car business. They're going to pay you 12, 20%, whatever. And the bank has no interest. So all you're paying is a minimum. And they're making you this money. You go out, here you go, go start the car dealership. But I'm partners. <laughs> and you should be, you know how people have carpal tunnel, right? Because they've been typing all day, typing, typing, typing. You should have carpal tunnel from the swiping, swiping, swiping. Like, <laughs> ow. You go home and say, ow. What's the matter, Jay? Oh, say my hair hurt. What? You had a hard day twice in the day. <laughs> Say, ow. <laughs> oh, let me rub your shoulder. Oh, oh, sorry. So sorry for you, babe. Say, I'm so tired. Why are you so swiping? You were swiping all day. Damn it. <laughs> Change our mindset. You got people out here who are actually digging. I'll be riding my people, city workers, man. I'll be like, whoa. Now, I got to tell you, I did some hard work too. Now, I worked on the shipyard. I did plumbing, welding. That's how I know. I was a, I was a supervisor uh, in San Diego at Southwest Marine. I've been on ships. That's some hard work. I done cut up ships. I was a welder, Nick King, Healy Archie, welders, underwater. <laughs> okay, I took my degree, I went out and I built missiles later on. I did some distances work. So now I kind of see the light. All right, so somebody had taught me this early, I probably own a country. <laughs> All right, so now. What we want to do is we want to go in. What yeah, the LLC, S Corp, C Corp, C Corp, the Mama Corporations. How are we going to get that money from the bank? Once we get that small money, and then we're able to go in and get 1.5 million dollars. We are now accredited investors. Now we can sit back and we can we can do things with the money, right? And we can also lend the money. 
right? You can do all kinds of things. You want to do Toro? Here's yeah, somebody go do damn Toro. Just give me under 25%. Because if you go over 25% in somebody's company, you are part of the company, right? All right. So we don't want to do that. We'll say, hey, I'm a partner up with you. So your job should be mostly going out here, finding people that want to do the work, like the people who hired you, people that want to do the work and hire you and give you a paycheck. You go hire them. Don't get mad at the people coming over here looking for work. Hire them. <laughs> I'm so pissed off. All these people coming over here, taking our jobs, taking taking your jobs. They ain't taking my jobs. I ain't looking for no damn job. I don't know what you talking about. All these damn people coming over here on the border, you know, taking taking everybody's job. We ain't got enough for ourselves. The damn money is free. What you know? <laughs> There's no such thing as money. It's just printed. That's what they call inflation. They just keep printing it. So why are you trying to go? Man, you know, the sad part about it, man, is I can't find a job. Sometimes that might be a good thing. That might be that might be the good old Lord giving you a message saying, uh, maybe you don't need a job. Maybe you need to go get some money and work for yourself. And Mr. Whitehead preaching again. And I said, okay, I'll stop preaching. Let's get back to this. All right, so now I just want you to have the mindset, okay? I want you to teach your children also. All right. So we want to go in, now we have that. Boom. We go in, we have the C corporation. What can this do? After you get that regular corporation, right? Order the book. It's $125 online. $125. All this money, and you just need a C Corp. Order the book online. It's called the corporate book. Simple. $125. When you get that, this is gold. This is how you go get up to that next level, right? So I told y'all I want to concentrate more on that next level. I've been feeding you milk for a while and I appreciate everybody with all the love and everything. But not, hey, don't get comfortable. Put on your seatbelt. It's time to get popping. Now we're going to the next level. All right, so let's talk a little bit more on going to that next level. And those that have not been here before, we're going to continue to give you some of those so you know how to get to that first level. Those that have been here, I need you to uh, write down stuff so you can go to the next level. So right now we're going to have a C corporation. What comes with that? $125. These things are here called stock. Stock. Now in those stocks, with those stocks, you can take that. Once you have $500,000 or more, now you can solicit investors that give you money to do what you need to do. All right? Now, whether it be real estate, whether it be whatever, real estate is the bomb. 75% of all people who become rich in this country become rich every year through real estate. They say Kyan West is crazy. He ain't that damn crazy. He buying up thousands and thousands of acres. He say a lot of things out of his mouth. It's like, ah, I mean, what can you say? <laughs> but, uh, but he ain't damn nuts. Something clicking. So we need to start clicking too. All right. So. Uh, you don't have to sing, you don't have to dance, put up no basketball court, go like the rich people do it, right? Sean, you're on, right on. All right, so let's get through this. Um, I want you to go in and get a pitch deck. Once we go in, we're going to talk about that in a second, but I want you to understand the C Corp. The C Corp is the mama of corporations. We're not doing S Corp, we're not doing uh, LLCs, that's a limited liability company, right? So you can take a LLC and turn it into, a, into an S Corp. Or you can take a C Corp and turn it into an uh, 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 S Corp. Right? So now, but we don't need that. What we're looking at is a, is a, is a, is a C Corp. So the C Corp is the mama. So now, we want to accomplish going to the next level with the C Corp. The next thing is we have a nonprofit and a foundation. What's the difference? A nonprofit. Who is that? W. Carter. Deshaun, I'm here. Right on. Is that, oh, Donovan. 
Oh, my man, Donovan. We got a treat for you guys today. All right, so uh, let's go in. Anybody that wants to come on here and look at this live is going to go to economicministry.com, economicministry.com, and you can see what everybody else is seeing. So go in and hop on here. This is free, and we're going to answer questions later on. But we got a special treat. We want to come in and we want to talk about taking that to the next level, okay? All right, so the nonprofit foundation. What's the difference? Real quick. Nonprofit foundation. The foundation is a, is uh, the nonprofit is when you go in like a church or whatever. And the foundation is a also a nonprofit, but it is it can lend money like a bank. So which one you want? You want the red pill or the blue pill? You want it to be a bank like a bank, a foundation? Well, like you know, such and such uh uh Sesame Street was brought to you by such and such foundation, right? You want the red pill, you want the foundation as opposed to the nonprofit. So the nonprofit is so if you go in. You make a lot of money, $10 million, you put the $9 million back in the company. I don't know what to do with this million. And then you take that, and you say, well, I know what I can do. I'm going to start a nonprofit, my cousin name, and I'm going to put that million in the nonprofit. Now I'm only responsible for 15%, and I can still control the 85%. That's what that's for. Let's get popping. We are businessmen, businesswomen, right? I don't do nails. I don't go do hair. I don't drive trucks. I'm a businessman. I'm a capitalist. Right? I'm a businessman, a capitalist. In a capitalistic society, that's why the president, they say he's on Capitol Hill. You ever notice that? <laughs> Everybody's on the, the, the power people live on, be up on Capitol Hill, in the Capitol. We are capitalists. I just saw, I just saw uh, the president. I was going to play it for you right here. He said, look, everybody, I'm a capitalist. I recorded it. Anybody wants to see that, let me know. I will gladly pull that up with him saying, look, I'm a capitalist. He said that right on national TV, and I've been telling people this for the longest. And he came right up and said in his speech last week or two weeks ago, State of the Union, look, I'm a capitalist. You want to make a million bucks, it's okay. He said that. So what more can I say? You're capitalist, right? So take the red pill. Take the matrix thing out the back of your head, right? You know, come down and look at reality and say, oh, oh I'm on a Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, oh, Morpheus, Morpheus. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. What you say? I know you guys are saying, man, John, why you invite me to this, man? This guy's crazy. <laughs> look. I can't wait to get on here. This is my fun, but Neo, Neo. Yeah. <laughs> Red pill. Are you ready? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so let's get to this. We want to make sure that we are a foundation because a foundation is unlike a regular nonprofit. They're like Ronald McDonald. They can lend money. That's why the rich folks get foundations. You know. Like Oprah may say, oh, you get a car, and you get a car, and you get a car. You're not going out to get a nonprofit so you can go and get a grant. Girl, you got your grant? I been had a grant. I got a good grant writer. Girl, let me hear know your grant writer. Give me her number. Well, girl, um, you know, she, you know, she, I have to ask her because, you know, she asked me not to give out her number like that. That's how we do. That's how we do, right? <laughs> you know. Girl, let me get your grant. You got how much? I got my grant. Let me get that enough. Girl, now, nah, well, you know, um, I can't. Um... <laughs> We're a trip. <laughs> We're a trip, right? <laughs> That's how they do it, right? So, look, the game of the laugh is on them because. We're not trying to go out and, and, and feed the money. Go to the public. Go out and get some damn old money from the bank, right? And then set up a, a table or whatever you want to do and feed the public, <laughs> right? Use the foundation of nonprofit so that you can have an outlet for your money. Profit and then nonprofit so that you can help the profit company. Get it? All right. So now that's it for that. Can we go to another slide? Next slide. Foundation is exempt. Nonprofit is exempt. What's the difference? 
Foundation is a uh, is a bank. Okay, I want you to go back one second. So one second, I want you to go back one second to the other slide. I want you to also understand that the bank does not lend money to rookies. Okay, this is is a, uh, a LLC. They don't like that, but they also don't like brand new companies. Would you lend your money to a brand new doctor or a person that's been doing this forever? All right. I want an old one that can do this with his eyes closed. So that's what the bank wants. I know. So we want to make sure that we have a corporation that's not under three years old, two and a half tax years, two and a half tax years. What's the tax year? January to April. That's one year and four months. Two of those is two years, eight months. So round it off to three months. Don't walk in the bank without a three-year-old court, right? Never go over eight or nine years because now Willie becomes 78, 90 years old, an old man to the bank. And they're going to say, you are uh, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 20 years old. Where's your documents? You ain't got no car. You ain't got no you ain't got nothing. No, we don't want to deal with you because you're a bad businessman. You ain't got nothing. So we don't want nobody on the internet that's going to tell you that or teach you that. So this is very important when you're trying to get money from the bank to understand the rules so that you can get the money and then go put other people behind the work. <laughs> right? Uh, what are you doing up here? Well, we got a problem downstairs. And why are you telling me? That's why I hired you. <laughs> right? I have to get up here to think about how to grow this company and get more money from the damn bank. Don't come up here disturbing me. Right? Okay. All right. So. You want to understand that the banks don't deal with rookies, so don't go in and say, well, Mr. Whitehead, you know, uh, I don't have an old corporation. Well, go buy one. The same way you have to buy a new one, you can buy an old one. Did you know that? A lot of people know this stuff. That's why they're getting the money, because you, they have the knowledge and you don't. So if you want to, you can go and buy yourself an age court. They call it a season age shelf court. So you don't have to wait around for three years before you do business. Time ain't waiting for us. So I want my money now or now or now <laughs> as soon as I can get it, right? So get yourself a season eight shelf course. You say, where do I get that from? And is it legal? Don't people buy businesses every day? All right then. Don't people buy liquor stores and buy shoe stores and that already been in existence? Of course. So yes, it is legal. And do you get it where you get it from? They have people who sell these online. You just didn't know about it. So you don't need us. You can go to Wholesale Shelf Corporation or any of these other people. Wholesale Shelf Corp. They sell, I saw a five-year-old corp from Wholesale Shelf Corp. They sell, they'll keep them on the, people will be buying five and six of these corps at one time because they know what they can do with them. They get five or six people going, build their corporations up, go and get one hundred to five hundred thousand dollars Let's say you got four. Four, four is eight, sixteen, two, two million dollars with five people, five corps. You can't do nothing with $2 million, but you try to get uh, 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 what you call it, like a, a government cheese, a Section 8, free health care. You, know, <laughs> you try to get all this. Go get to the bank. Go get some damn money and get the best health care. Go get some real cheese. Go, as a matter of fact, go out the country and go get some damn Switzerland cheese with real holes in it. <laughs> all right. So go get your money. Now. What I'm trying to say is, is why wait around? You can go get yourself a season eight shelf corporation, and they cannot, they don't stay on the shelf. That's how fast they go. You just didn't know about it. So people don't want to wait. So they go in, you get the season eight shelf corporation, and and remember, a season eight is the same thing. Shelf is is somebody, some lawyer, somebody put it on the shelf, right? Now you want to make sure that it's season eight shelf, but don't get a court that already has the EIN number attached to it. Because it could have bad credit. So get your own EIN number. Get a season age corporation that's been on the shelf where nobody has used it. He waited for it to age like wine, then he sold it to you. Now, they have this place called Wholesale Shelf Corporation. I say that because they're one of the largest. I saw them online. And uh, they sell them like for like $14,000 for a daggone five year old course. People buy them like they water. Like their water, because they know what they can do. They say, "Look, I paid fourteen grand, but I'm gonna get back fifty thousand for fourteen, a hundred, two, three, four hundred, five hundred thousand for fourteen grand. 
I do that all day long. So people will say, you know, hey man, look, I borrow for it. Hey man, let me hold 14,000. You got it, bro. I'm gonna give you back 20 when I get this thing funded. You're gonna get it funded out, man. Look, I give you back what you want to 22. <laughs> give me the 14, right? Give me the 20, right? So and you get you get the thing, get it built up, and keep it moving. Why wait around for three months? But you wanna make sure that you don't that you don't go uh get scammed and get a corporation that already has an EIN number because it could have bad credit. Now, I wouldn't dare charge $14,000 for a dead one. I think that's a lot. We sell them too, but you don't need us. So I'm giving you the information that you need so you can go out there and go work your magic. All right? All right. So uh, what I want to do is, I want to go to the next slide. But what I want to do is I also want to tell you about the five, I want to go to the five uh, 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 corporate uh, trade lines. Does anybody know the three business trade lines? That is TransUnion, Equifax, and, and Experian. That's personal, right? But did you know the corporation has its own bureau? All right, we're going to go through that. We want to go through that. But before we do that, I want to make sure everybody, uh, I want to ask everybody out there, if anybody thinks this is good information, if you feel like this is, I want audience participation, right? Because I'm talking my behind off. You think it's good information? Put up, a, put up a nine. If you think this is good information for you, if you think I'm giving you some information that's worthy, you know, put up a nine. I can just say, okay, bye, thank you. Stop teaching. I'm out of here. Thank you very much, right? I'm gone. That was my time. So put up a nine if you think this is good information. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, so many hearts. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. I never saw a nine in the clock. What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You put up a nine if you think this is decent information. Wow. Thank you. TikTok, Instagram. Wow. Nines everywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we're going to have to really come on strong now. We're going to have to come on strong. We're going to go right into some serious. I was going to go into. Uh, but let's get right on into the spirit. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. We are, thank you, thank you, thank you. We are economicmakery.com, 360 CEOs. We're not brokers, we're not finders, we're not attorneys. We are capitalists. No, no. <laughs> so thank you so much. I love you too. I love you, 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 you. And only if you teach your children. <laughs> if you don't teach your children, you're wasting my time and you're wasting your time. All right, we can get the watch. You know, you want fancy watches, you want fancy clothes, you want fancy cars. That that stuff they show you on the internet is baby money, baby money. All right, thank you so much. We're economic. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Love you too. I love you. I do. And teach the children. So we are uh, Derek White in here, three hundred and sixty CEOs. We're economicbusiness.com, three hundred and sixty CEOs. We're not brokers, we're not finders, we're not attorneys, we're consultants. If you need anybody in any of those areas or we're not funders or any of that stuff, we know how to guide you to places that you can get that stuff. But we are consultants. And this is from us giving you this information because we believe everybody here is a friend. And since we believe everybody on here is a friend, I will continue to give this information from my perspective. This is our perspective, all right? Ours and any of our affiliates from our perspective. Uh, what I want to do is, I told everybody that we're going to go into like uh, um, uh, the higher levels, okay? I want to make sure that everybody that's never been here before can get the basics, right? But I also want everybody that's been here before and, and those that haven't been here before, I want you to get ready to the higher, higher education. Ain't nobody on the end that's talking about this. So what I want to do is, if you got a brother here, Kyle, that's my partner. Kyle Freeman, you there? Is my boy Kyle Freeman or is it Sean there? Sean is there, right on. With Kyle F. Kyle Freeman, my 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 best friends when it comes to raising funds and, and next level stuff. What's going on? <laughs> yes, sir. We just sitting here, brother. 
you shooting the gift. We talking. Uh, we talking about taking that thing to the next level. Uh, I'm glad to see you guys on here. Matter of fact, I see. I see a few people on here. I see my man Donovan. My man Donovan.
So let me ask you. 
So let me get this back, guys. Let me ask you guys a question. So just to get this right, uh, Donovan, you are on on the yacht, right? We rented out a 28 foot yacht, unless everybody maybe may not know that. And I walked up to Donovan. I said, Donovan, you on the yacht? He said, No, I'm not on the on the yacht. I said, Well, here's the ticket. Get on the yacht, right? And so uh, Donovan got on the yacht, and and and, uh, and he started getting information on the next level, the next level. Okay, so. Uh, so let me ask you a question so everybody understands here. Uh, Donovan, you are taking it to the next level at this point, right? You're now, you're now hooked up with Kyle. You're now hooked up with Kyle, and now you're going in getting private equity. Is that right? So the second level, the second level actually exists. The second level actually exists. It's not just something where we're just talking about it, right? You're actually you're actually in that arena now. Right on. That's what I'm talking about. So we're not here at economic mention just talking. We're talking about about doing. If you're sitting around and you're not doing anything and you have this great idea, you got this business that you're building up, there's levels to this thing. And who's going to teach you this on the internet for free? Nobody. And who's going to come in and send you out to a Sean McCall who's already taken their company public? And I'm proud to have these guys on the team. I mean, because they implement. And uh, I'm proud that Donovan has, has, has saw in itself that he can go to the next level. He's not looking for pennies. He's dealing with million dollar athletes. Million dollar athletes. So what's the difference between him and you? The difference is, is that he says, I'm not afraid, I'm going for it. I'm not going, I'm not afraid, I'm going for it. Sean, what is what what uh not to give away too much, but what basically are you guys uh uh doing on that second level? Just to give me a little a little surface stuff here. Regulation. Wow. Thank you, brother. Thank you. What's the name of that book? 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 I want everybody to know. These guys that you're talking to here actually took their own company public. So when I tell you that a guy came to me when I had all this money and all these restaurants and came and told me, hey, Derek, you know, you're my boy, but you're making pennies. This was 30 years ago. I said, oh, really? 
And what he showed me was in this book, he said, Derek, you see these things in this book? He said, that's like a license to print money. I said, what? And I was just like, all you guys, 30 years ago, this guy came and told me that. I remember he was on a show. He was, uh, you know, um, he was a, a cousin called, a, a, a show called Rhythm. He was interviewing all the Isley Brothers and all these stars, right? He said, the hell with all that. I found something that's way bigger. And then they wound up taking their companies public. I want you to talk about how you basically took your company public, Kyle, so these people can actually know they're talking to somebody who actually did it. We're not talking about, you can do it too. I want to learn that billion dollar move, okay? What happened with you guys, Kyle?
Wow. Very smart. Very smart. Wonderful. So as I try to tell everybody here, I'm gonna say it until I can't say it and say it and say it till I'm till I'm my till my damn tongue is tied. All right. There's level to this thing. All right. Don't worry about people coming over here, taking your job. Then you should be worried if you're looking for a job. Okay, but there's level to this thing. Don't go on the internet and listen to everybody talking about business. Fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollars. That's fine. Learn all you can learn, but this is a macro. We have our micro, and now we're talking about the macro. So we want to start showing you people that are actually doing this. So you're going to feel damn funny when you start seeing these people that are actually going to these next level, and you're not. And you're not. When your child says, "Well, uh, you know, how come I, how come I can't have a Ferrari?" Well, well, because you know, uh, we, you know, I did the best we could. I did it. No, in 2004, you gonna say I saw pictures of you in 2004. You learned this information, Dad. <laughs> Mom showed me some stuff that said you learned this stuff. You know, I used to do this. I could have had a Ferrari. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, what we want to do is we want to go to question and answers here, um, and then you don't need us. So we're going to go to question and answers. And what we want to do is we're going to come back, and anybody that's out there on Instagram, TikTok, uh, all these platforms, you probably got a, a 
thousand people in here. You know, uh, uh, 237, almost 40, 240 people here, 250 people there, 250 there. You got people all over here. Hop on out of those, those platforms and come on to economicministry.com and you can see this brother that is actually going to that next level. We're not just talking. I didn't go out there uh, with Herman on that stage with all those people in that theater, right, to talk about getting $50,000, all right? I didn't fly all the way out there. That's not worth my time. It's worth my time. If you can understand, we can't leave our, you, you can't leave Martin Luther King Boulevard to your kids. You can't leave uh, Malcolm X. You can't use me, a Juneteenth. When Juneteenth is over, you right back to the same job and the same position you was in. And don't go in and go get a corporation because now you think you got a company and you've made it because people work harder having a corporation than doing a damn one job. So all you're doing really is quitting a job so you can go pay to have another job. <laughs> Let's just think about this, right? So we want to go in and get this money, go to the next level and use our brains and keep going. After you get a certain, to a certain level, now it becomes the art of the deal. The art of the deal. And there's nothing stopping you. You're like, like my cousin, Mr. Fadman Whitehead, right? There ain't no stopping us now, right? I want you to teach your children, but also implement yourself. Get to the next level. So when we hop off questions and answers, some people say, well, Mr. Whitehead, what can you help us do? Can you help us do this, do that? I say, I'm showing you so you can do this yourself. You don't need us. You don't need us. But there's always somebody that says, Mr. White, I still want you to help me with this and hold my hand and do this. You know how many people call me? I don't even know how to get my number. And they call me, can you mentor me? Can you help me with this? Mr. White, help me with that. So I'm going to go to drink the water. Uh, Kyle and Sean and Donovan's going to stay on after uh, hop on a question and answer. And you can ask them questions. Hop on to economicministry.com and hop into here and ask a question. Okay, so pardon his accent. This is my partner, Miller Wynn. He's coming in and uh, he's going to talk to you. I'm going to get a drink of water. He's about five, seven minutes. I want to come back and ask you a question so you don't need us and you can hear more about that next level. That's what we're trying to concentrate on today, right? We're talking about giving the babies milk. I've been introduced to you. Now, Mr. Derek Whitehead is going to the next level. Don't tell me you can't learn this. I didn't come here for all this. I didn't. I can't learn this. I, look, I just want my hundred thousand, right? You can learn every record that comes on the, on the, on radio. So the record come on. Oh, that's my. Oh, that's my jam. That's my cat. You know, make me sweat. Make me holler. You know every. <laughs> you know every record comes on. You can learn this. You can learn this, right? That little girl comes on, boy, you that's oh my dad, you sing it right along. <laughs> learn this. <laughs> all right. All right. So we're gonna be right back. <laughs> I know you guys say, wait a minute. I can I can, who go why you invite me to this uh, Charlotte? This guy's crazy. This <laughs> well, guess what? We gotta have some fun in this, but we want you to come in here and be smarter with more knowledge than when you came in here so that makes you richer when you leave here all right so i'm gonna come right back after about seven minutes we're gonna talk about some of the things that we offer but when i come back we'll have questions and answers so you don't need us so the real learning people say mr white you say a lot of stuff you just said before yeah because some people never heard it but then i put new stuff in there now we're going to another level right so strap your seat belt. i'm gonna come back he got a heavy accent, but he speaks five languages. And this guy, he hates me saying this, but he does not need the money. This guy's worth probably a fifty, five hundred million dollars. <laughs> he don't, he don't, don't, don't need the money. So take my word for it. He's here to help. I'm here to help. These guys are here to help. Uh, a black, Donovan came on here to help. You didn't have to come on here. You didn't have to come on here. A lot of people that are going to higher levels, you notice know, we always act like. I ain't trying to share nothing with nobody. We got to stop that. House and feel. That's over, 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 over. All right? So when I come back, we'll have questions and answers. Hopefully you can hop on in here, uh, economicministry.com, and everybody can hear this, okay?
So stay on there. The question and answer is where the real learning comes in. Right? That's not repetitious. That's real stuff that's from real people's mouth. And we always explore what people are asking questions about. So hang in there. I'll be right back. Get a drink of water. And be, don't go away. We'll be right back. All right, so in the meantime, you know, I love to teach, so uh, Miller, you let me know when you're ready, and I'll just keep on teaching. <laughs> All right, so okay, all right, so we want you all to understand the upside down T. Upside down T. What is the upside down T? The upside down T is when you go in and you put the money in. And you put the money in, in the company. And you put the money in the company and the company grows out wider and grows up taller because you're putting the money back in the company, forces it to go taller. More revenue, more business. And you put the money back in, more revenue, more business back in that forces you to grow rich but you put all the money back in the company as much as you can so that it can help you with capital gains tax and it forces you to be rich so why should you have all this money the corp has the money so all you have to do is put the money back in the corp and the corporation buys the watch you don't buy the watch okay the corporation buys the car you just drive the car for the corporation all right the corporation buys the home it's not my watch. Corporation says, hey, I need, I need you to have a nice watch because you're going to be around, you know, a high profile client. I says, oh, okay. What kind of watch you want? And you need your Cartier. Okay, fine. I'll buy Cartier. Thank you. I'm just wearing Willie's watch. All right. So we need to have that understanding. We control everything and we own nothing. Right. I'm getting ready. Miller, you better step in because I'm getting ready to go off now again. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right brother go ahead we're get ready to go into the five secrets of backdoor backdoor funding all right all right guys we'll be right back if you don't need us remember we'll be right back
Beautiful. <laughs> That's what we do. That's what we do. Thank you so much for playing that. I didn't expect that. But that is uh, that's one of our students, and that was just for today. Just for today, one of our students, uh, 150,000, uh, 100, I don't know how much, 125, 130, whatever it was, from one bank just today. And he just started. So uh, I want to thank everybody for being here and listening to that. Now we're back. We want to do question and answers. Anybody that wants to hop in for question and answers, economicmission.com 360. do is I want everybody to uh, uh, mute your phone and uh, uh, so that we can hear what everybody has to say. We want to go to question and answers. We want to go from female to male because men tend to dominate. And uh, don't say, please don't say, oh, can you get on with the, with the question or whatever. Uh, please be patient because a lot of people have not heard this before. Uh, but what I want to do is, is I want to uh, have everybody uh who wants to go to the next level people that want to go to the next level i want you to ask uh uh sean and kyle and donovan a few questions uh that you may have so that you can find out how is donovan going to the next level the things that i've been talking about for the longest c corporation get that seed money foundation capital and springboard funding donovan is now in the process and going to go public all right, so uh, I want you to guys to start asking some questions about how can you do that? You know, how do you, what's the process? You know, asking questions so you can figure out this thing, you know? So uh, let's uh, go in and, and let's have your first question. Let's see who is a female first. Is there a female with a question first? Please open your mic. Yes, Tiana. What's your name? Where you're from? And give us and give us a question. Okay, uh, you must be buying a few products. But, uh, so, what is uh, what is your? Can you give your information to uh, someone in the chat? Uh, Millen, can you take down all the information? I want her to give her information now, but all anybody that's yeah. and also uh, no, there should be an eight hundred number that's directing everybody to to Bobby. So that we can have, I want everybody, we use a charge for this, okay? But we're not going to charge for this. Anybody that's hearing this that's interested, that want to go forward, that want to go in and get yourself, uh, uh, make sure that you understand where you're going, look at your credit, uh, look at your corporation, look at your situation. There's something for everybody. I want you to dial us 800 numbers. Can you put the number up there? I want everybody to go to, everybody to go to, call this number. 
uh, Bobby's number and that team over there so he can get a free assessment. They will give you a free assessment and say, this is where your credit is. This is what you need to be. This is where you need to go. Okay? So that number is... Okay, so that number is 888-538-3705. 888-538-3705. Dial that number if you want to uh, talk about... Uh, uh, your, your credit, or you want to talk about corporation, or you want to talk about getting funded, or maybe you don't have all the money, whatever. There's something, a way around every obstacle. And I want everybody in here to go in, dial it, and just please go in and see. Go in and get yourself a, uh, find out where you are. Find out where you are. Dial that number and find out where you are. Let me give you the number again. Just so you know. 888 888- 538-3705-888-538-3705. Yes, uh, we are, uh, everybody can hear you. Everyone can hear you, Tiana. Can you uh, mute your phone, Tiana? <laughs> okay. All right, so you're interested. If you put up a nine, you should be calling that number. If you think this is good information, something that, that can help you out, uh, thank you for putting that number up. Who is it? Lisa, thank you for putting that number up. If you find that something, something interesting, go in and dial that number, <laughs> okay, and find out where you are. Find out how you go, get, go to the bank to get some money. So uh, I want to uh, go to a mail. Let's see, what, who's the male? Let's see. Christian Jordan, what's your question? What's your name? Where are you from? And what's your question? Some of those, this is, some of those, uh, Interest rates are uh, 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 no interest for a year, two years. I mean, it depends on what you're dealing with. You know, you have a line of credit, you have a revolving line of credit, you have a uh, installment line of credit, uh, which is, could be a loan. You have all types of ways to uh, all types of programs, types of banks. Banks call those programs, right? Or plots. They call them products, right? So there's all kinds of products. So we really can't say what each interest rate will be. Um, based on your situation, um, those guys know where to go. They know those ladies. They know where to go. I'm just a teacher. Oh, when you okay.
All right. Let's go to uh, ZMR Yukon News. What's your name? Where you from? Just give us a question. That's so good. Thank you, brother. Did you talk to somebody? You said that you talked to somebody and they didn't have uh, something. What did you say? You talked to somebody? Who is, who is Roselle? Who is that? Who is that, Roselle? Yeah, Roselle. It's not the Rochelle work for, on this for us. You're talking about the bank. So you're not able to get in touch with the bank? So, so give us the name. So give us the name of the bank representative and number that you're talking to. Okay. Yeah, you can give it to um, give it to uh, Rochelle here. Give us the. Yeah, it gives us the name and the person and the person at the bank, the uh, contact person at the bank. Don't say Don't talk your business over the internet, okay? We have a thousand people watching. Put it inside uh in the chat there. This is the private information. Okay. All right. We're, we're, we're looking to it for you. Okay. Yes, sir. There you go. The whole why uh, we trust everybody here, but you know. We don't want you to put all your, your, your information, your private stuff out all over the internet. Now, thousands of people. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, for some reason, I can see the information here, Millie. Okay, I just want his information all over the Okay, so uh, let's go to a lady. Is there another female? Yeah. 
Yes, say your name and where you're from and, and the question. And let's see if you can ask the question also about going to the next level. Ask your question. Okay. Are you, you know, the second person said that, uh, uh, did you get that number that we just put up there? Okay. I don't know. I don't know who the credit guy is because I'm just a teacher. <laughs> Bobby does uh Bobby does uh, uh funding. Yeah. Yeah, those guys, they have their own company, separate company. We've been doing that for years. Yeah, you need to have um, you need to have some type of uh, uh, system where you can where you can just uh, have like a barcode or something that you can put up there so people can have be more uh, it's more effective. You're welcome. You don't have a question for anything? There you go. Okay, so you have uh, two things you're looking at. You're looking at money that can grow, and then you're looking at, at, at money that you can turn over. Right. So, so I, I would say it's very safe to buy a piece of real estate that needs a little bit of work done to it. So when you buy it, when you buy it, it has equity in it already. You have money in it. We don't buy as as businessmen and businesswomen. We don't buy things full price. We buy things with deals. We don't we don't go in and say how much is the house. Five hundred thousand. How much is it worth? Five hundred thousand. You can keep your house because I'm a business. I'm not going to live in that. 
So how much is the house? 300,000. How much is it worth? 500,000. If it just had some paint and the doors and some doors. Well, okay, well, that sounds better, right? So you go in and you purchase that from like, like uh, get a real estate agent to find you house that are not on the market. Or like, or like people in poor places, we take advantage of people's losses. We don't make the loss, we just take advantage of it. I didn't make the foreclosure. So you're losing it, I'll buy it. I go to the bank and say, I want to buy this person's house and go into foreclosure. When you say that to the bank, their foreclosure stops. Right? Now we're talking real estate. So you say, by five people's houses, and guess what? You're going to have a tsunami of houses now. Because remember, when they had a COVID, COVID, everybody didn't have to pay their mortgage or their or their rent. So there was what to call a mor moratorium because of COVID. Now, they didn't realize when, it, when this is over, I'm going to have to come up with all that money. Nobody realized that. Most people didn't. And so now, they're going to the judge and saying, the judge says, do you have the money? I don't have all that money. Well, how long, you, long do you have before you can move? That's your option. Your house is gone or your apartment is out of there, you're out of there. That's why real estate is, is booming and it begins to take a serious, I mean, a tsunami. A tsunami. So we got to get prepared and get some of this private equity money, some of this seed money, some of this level money, so we can be ready as businessmen and businesswomen to take advantage of this. We got to see the writing on the wall. And in my opinion, it's going to be a tsunami. How, how could it not be? Every you know, these people did not pay their mortgage. Oh, I ain't got to pay. They didn't, they're going to have to pay. So now it's time for us to take advantage of it. So I think that is what, in my opinion, everybody should have some real estate. That's why the fake money is called money fake. It's fiat money. And the real things are called real estate and real property, real property or cars, real uh, real houses and, you know, real. Don't let your money sit there in Bitcoin. That's not real. Don't let your money sit there in investment and just sit there. That's not real. You got to take that money out, make some money, take some out, and invest it in some real stuff, and let it grow, and then take some out, and then put it in some real stuff. We have some balance. Is that? Is, is that? I hope that answers your question. Okay, and so everybody look out, be aware. We're going to have uh, some some uh, real estate courses that you can be able to look into and make life easier for yourself so you can learn how to do this, you know, certain things in real estate from there's level to that too. There's level to this. So you can go in, buy, get a piece of property and don't use your money. Just go in and, and take control over the property. Right? That's called an assignment. Right? And take control over it and then say, I don't have 500000 to buy it, but you do. You want it. I have control over it. You're going to make 150000 Just give me five or ten. I'll let you take the assignment. That's called a finder. That's called a bird dog. Right? And then there's flip. You can go in and buy 300000 Let hard money pay the 300000 not you, right? And then you come in and take the fifty thousand to fix it, and you got a hundred thousand. You just made yourself eighty thousand, fifty, eighty, whatever, whatever's in the house. You make that money until until you get big enough where you can buy the house yourself off the courthouse steps. Big discount right there. And then there's another level where you can buy apartment units, four units. Okay, buy four units. Same as buying one unit 
single family home is the same as buying four. They call that's not commercial. Four units. Why buy one when you can buy four? And still act like you are just a you know uh, single family home. Buy four. Two people at the top paying your mortgage, two people at the bottom, bottom paying you rent. Why buy one? And then there's another level where you go in and let's say you take control and you buy an apartment complex. With some money or no money. You don't always need money with businessmen and businesswomen. We look how we don't get used money. And then there's another level, just like Sean and them are at going to that next level. There's another level in real estate where you're going to go in and you're going to get notes. You, it's not my house. I don't want the house. You would be responsible for the windows and the, and the water heater. I just own your notes. I'm the bank. You pay me. So you go to the bank, go get some money, right? And then buy a discounted note where the bank says, hey, Dave are not paying, so I'll sell it to you for cheap. Or they're, or they're uh, in foreclosure, I'll sell it to you for note for cheap. Or it's non-performance and nobody's in the house. And I'll take, and I'll take the note. The bank will sell it to you for pennies, you know, 50 cents on the dollar. How could you lose on that? So now there's another level where you can just buy from one, one uh, hedge fund who sell property and then have the hedge fund. When you buy it, sell it to the hedge fund that's buying property. And all you're doing is sitting on the beach, sitting back saying, okay, uh, buy you know, this many properties. You got, you want it? I got this, okay, so, 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 so. you want it? Boom, boom, take your money. That's not performance income right there. So there's levels to this thing. And we're going to provide information pretty real soon and start showing you how to do that. Where you can purchase, know what hedge funds there are that you can buy from, and another one that's going to buy them, and another one that's going to sell them. And you'll have that information. Over 100, over 100 uh, 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 hedge funds that are selling. Another hundred are buying in the national and national. We're not playing here. We ain't playing. We're not playing. So look out and we're going to give you all the most of the documents that you're going to need to make the deal happen and teach you what to say to them in order to get the deal to happen. So once you get that money, you got to do something with it. So it's our job to say, you know what? Now we're going to give you something to do with it. I've been thinking. And saying, wait a minute, a lot of people don't know what they want to do with this money. But after you get a show, you go get that seed, now you can go over here to Kyle and Sean, like this brother here, Donovan is doing, real deal right there. See what I'm saying? And after you get the money, now he's going to go in and start do something. This guy's, a, this guy's on a billion. Look, take a good look at his face. So when you see on television, he said, I, I remember him. <laughs> you feel like I see too, right? Yes, and I know how important a processor is. A processor, a good process with their weight in gold. Uh, uh, we actually had a bank we were working with. We had a virtual bank of Cali Land out of San Diego. So I understand banking. We, we had a virtual bank, right? So so uh, we don't just talk this game, we do this game. So now it's time to teach you the game so that you can uh, teach your children we got a good process. The processor knows what the bank is going to ask for before they even ask for it, right? All right. That's right. When things go, when things are going bad, you don't go tell the, you don't go tell the client, hey, you know, we got problems. You just 
You have it figured out, right? That's 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 right. That's it. Right. You want to Stop working for people who are going in and making the bulk money. They just paying you a few process a few for every deal. I know the game. I know the game. You got that right. So that's what we're working on. Thank you, sis, for your uh all right. All right, brother. We've got a question for for uh 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 Sean or Donovan or Kyle. Yes, yes. What's your what's your name? Edgar Lonzo. Then let's go to Samsung after him. What's your question, brother? Oh, what's your question? What's the answer to that? Uh, may not understand. Yeah, it may be us. It may be us. It depends. Uh, don't give anybody any money on the internet. We have over 160 people now who are acting like me, taking all my information, all my faith, all my free information, and all that free, taking all that stuff that I do. And putting it on their website, not acting like they're me, and saying, give me some money for insurance, give me some money for Bitcoin. I don't do that. Right? So, talking about a program uh, uh, to elevate or to get the money because you don't have the money right now, we do have a program like that, but that's going to be through economicministry.com. If it doesn't, if it's not me, if it says Derek dot Whitehead or Derek Whitehead dot or Derek Whitehead estimation or something stupid that's not me, right? Uh, so I'm the guy on, on Instagram with the blue check, verified. It's going to be Derek Whitehead it's going to, or, or Instagram or TikTok, Derek Whitehead. But they're standing here. Yeah. 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 Capital raising, no. Yeah, just scamming. <laughs> yeah, can you take your summer down? That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Yes, yeah, so can you take your summer down, please, no? Millen, are you there?
Okay, so I want to make sure that you get this corporation name that you sent out for. No, don't give me the name. <laughs> uh, uh, Edgar. Uh, what's your phone number? Got it. So somebody will give you a call tomorrow. Thank you, brother. All right, let's see. Yes, sir. What's your name? Where are you from? And give me the question. Online, no, uh, I don't, uh, we don't sell quotes online. They're seasoned, aged, and unpublished. Nobody talks about unpublished. You'd have to be a banker to understand that. And most of the internet people are not bankers, all right? So they're internet people. They, they don't understand banking, or if they understand banking, they don't understand real estate. If they understand real estate, they don't understand a corporate building that's 30 years and this has been my interest so you know i have a particular uh advantage of understanding these things in depth so if you're a banker you want to understand if you buy a season age shelf course you want to make sure it's unpublished that means like the general edgar said he said he has three names that were sent to him through an email not online so if you see corporations online, the bank can see that they were sold online. And now they're going to say, I just said you saw this corp sold online last month. You said you had it for five years, really? So you just went on the court. Now they're going to say, well, uh, you just went on the court, so we're going to be, make it look like it's a year old. Because when you got on it, so you don't want to do that. All right, you understand? So... Uh, we do sell season age shelf corp, uh, unpublished corporations. That's what makes us a lot different than everybody else. Also, what makes us different is that we actually tell you how to do it. Most of these companies sell you something that they buy, and now you gotta go fix it. You gotta figure out. Uh, I have to uh, find out if the corporation let me get your number so I can find out uh, how they how they uh, transfer a corporation as as uh, as a as a, as a Canadian entity. Got it. Well, we actually own two car dealerships. So I don't have anything against cars. You know, we own our Primo Auto, Primo Auto and Prime Auto, 
in San Diego for 27 years. Primo Auto and Prime Auto in San Diego. And, uh, you know, Primo or Prime Auto, we sell Nissan, Toyota, and Honda. Primo Auto, we sell Jaguar, Mercedes, BMW, and Bentley. All right. So, uh, you know, I don't have anything against it. the uh, autos, cars, um, but you should also make sure that you have, that's your money that's coming in where you don't have to worry. Right? But then you also should have real estate. That should be a part of your portfolio. Every, everyone needs to own a piece of this land. That's where all the money is, is in the land. All that money. So you can. Okay. All right. So I'll uh, reach out tomorrow and see what we can talk about as far as uh, Canada, Canadian, and. Uh, all right. You're welcome. Let's talk to two, uh, uh, of another lady. Another lady. And let's talk to, let's see, let's, Dacia. have to season the corporation you buy a seasoned corporation so you don't have to wait and season it I would, uh, people that have credit challenges, which is not a credit score, but a FICO, but that's what we want. But people that have credit challenges, if they have the means, they should buy a season corporation, build it, and at the same time, work on your credit so you don't have to wait. Trying to wait and get your credit done and then going and getting your corporation, that's, that's a lot, that's time. If you're doing both, you come to the finish line at the same time. Okay. All right. So there's a number up there that anybody can call 1 800 to see where they are. Um, I believe it's 1 888. What is the number? Uh, What is the number? One eight eight eight. Let's see. Five three eight three seven zero five. Eight 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 five three eight three seven zero five. Dial that number, and and have someone go in and uh, uh, look at your stuff for free. Anybody that's on here, if you feel good information, do something about it. Like this brother here. Donald is not playing. The guy just got 150000 just yesterday. He's not playing. So, you know, just don't come on and say, you know, be like an information junkie. Go in and get the information and do something about it. Right? <laughs> uh, you don't have to use us. Take the information and go do what you need to do. That's what this is about. 
But if you want to use us, we're here for you. I want to give you all the information that you need. So let's go to, oh, there's a lot of questions. Uh, how about <laughs> Info Junkie? <laughs> Let's see. Steve, what's your question? Okay. Let's go to Cedric Russell. What's the question? You have to unmute your, 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 your phone. Uh, let's go to... Uh, I see your name, but you're like fourth box. Okay. Yes, that's Adam. I see you. Okay. Samsung, did you ask a question already? All right. Uh, yeah, I see you here. Six, four, seven, eight, two, one. All right. Uh, Edgar Lazo. What's your question? Oh, you don't actually have your hand up. I'm sorry. Uh, Codwell, Hayward. You have your hand up, but there's no... Okay, Jerry Mendoza. You have to unmute your phone. What's your question? Yes, sir. Well, you need to fill all officer positions. Some places may want three, some people may want five. But I would, you should have at least three so the bank can be satisfied. You're not running around trying to do everything by yourself. Right, but you should fill all positions so no one can come in and fraud and steal and do stuff with the company. All they got to do is look on your company and see there's two open slots. Oh, here's a COO position that's not filled or a manager's position. And they go in and say, I'm the manager with the Secretary of State. The Secretary of State doesn't look into your stuff. They say, okay, you're on the, uh, uh, put your name on the court. Now they go to the bank and say, I'm on this court, got all the information, public information, and then they go in and get $100,000, $200,000 on your court. So you fill all positions so people can't do that. Make sense? Sure. Yes, whatever state the corp is coming out of, you should fill all positions. If you buy one from us, we're going to ask you to fill all positions depending on the state you get it out of. And we're going to guide you through. Most people leave you and don't do nothing. They, oh, there you go. Bye. We're not, we don't do that. So we, we, we guide you as best we can. Okay, well, that's, uh, all right, give me your, uh, what's your, what's your number? Okay, Jerry, right? All right, you have somebody give you a call tomorrow, it's not me. You're welcome. Okay, uh, have a, a lady, Tanya. Hello.
Yeah, do it in his ass, so everything's the same. You just everything is the same except for the EIN. You're doing business, doing business as the corporate. It's no longer me by myself. It is me and my wife now, or me and my mom, actually. I'm under her roof, but I'm still a person. I'm still me. No. Right. The only thing is EIN, and that's taxes. Got it? That's it. You're welcome. Let's see. Did we talk to we talked to Adam, didn't we? Oh, okay, yes, sir. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got what you're saying. So uh, there's all all kinds of ways to skin a cat. So uh, you you may need to get some small funding, seed money, so that you can bring down some of that debt, some of your usage or some of the debt, and also work on your credit. There's, there's, there's nobody that, that, you know, uh, that's just, you know, I just can't do anything with them. I mean, there's always some way to think of something, you know. Uh, so dial that number that they put up there and have them go over your situation because I'm not looking at it directly. I'm only hearing you. But you need somebody that to look at it. So that's why I said everybody doesn't have the ability to to pay to just have it looked at. So we'll do that for free. Go in and look at it. It's a lot of manpower, but a lot of people are coming that way, that direction. So I think it's necessary. So we'll go in and we'll look at it for free. Make sure that you know, uh, have an assessment. Because there's always some way, it's got to be some way to do, to, you know, to handle things.
don't you don't know you don't know that you don't know that you don't know you don't know what you don't know what the uh what your possibilities are because uh nobody knows everything there's always people that come up with things that you say i didn't know i could do that so you need to have an assessment so you can look at your options there's things there's things that i don't even know and i've been doing this thing for 30 years i'm always open anybody that says they know everything they're a lie <laughs> they're a lie <laughs> So well, that's why you need to make that phone call so they can look at what you have. Yeah, you have to. Uh, uh, this is 888. Yes. All right. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, another lady. Yes, I am. My favorite. How you doing? Oh, how you doing? Yes, it's taking a minute. Uh, I don't, uh, yeah, yeah, that's okay. I mean, I don't know uh, exactly I'm not, I can't, I'm not looking at your file, so I really can't say definitively what's going on. It's like the gentleman's flyer. Uh, I'm not looking at anything in front of me. If it's not on paper, I really can't, I don't see it. You know, it's just the way I've explained. Um, but Yeah, I mean, if you are, uh, you, you first want to ask them 
what are you doing, going to discuss? You know, you don't go into any meeting without a floor, without a, a floor plan, without a you know a knowledge of what's going to go. Uh, what are the topics in this meeting? You know? No, that's not going to. They're they're bringing you in the bank uh, 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 as a as a a, a a business banker. It's business, right? It's a business bank. And you have a business with them already. calling you to sell you something. I mean, hey, no bank is going to call you and just say, hi, you know, we just wanted to, they want to introduce themselves as a personal banker and say, you know, these are some of the options that you may not know about that, that we can do, we can help you with. They want to show you some of their products. Well, always, you know, knowing the bank's products and knowing what your options are of this. They, they uh, that exists in life, period. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, uh, watch out for the guy that comes to your door and says, you know, hi, I'm from the state such and such, and here's my dad and my ID, and here's my shirt, my name on my shirt, and we're giving out free information, you know, and um, based on free windows and free window ceilings and free paint for your house. And you just need to come in and ask you a few questions and see if you qualify. Well, sure, come on in. Well, okay, let me see that badge. That. Okay, yeah, great. Now, where do you work? Well, I work at night and I work at such and such. How oh, you like that? That's great. You married? Yeah, yeah. So your wife? Well, she works at night too. Wonderful. So let's take a look at your windows and let's see. What about the windows upstairs? And you're walking through out your whole entire house. And the next day, they call you on the phone. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm at work right now. Oh, good. Can you get ready to go to your house and take everything you got? So, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's right. The finest six foot, six foot eight woman I know. <laughs> All right. Let's go to um, uh, <laughs> Robert. Uh, what's your question? Uh, 
All right, let's go to David. Okay, Robert, what's your question? Let's try to make it a minute, or we're not going to be able to answer everybody's questions getting late. Well, you talk. You don't know you don't know that you know that's
Okay. What I want you to do is, in the, in the essence of time, I want you to go in and contact these guys so you can have a, a deeper conversation. Because you know, God. Thanks, Kyle. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you, brother. Thank you so much. All right, is there a sister, another sister? Aisha Lee? No, you don't have your head up, huh? Is there another lady? No? Uh, how about iPhone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's your question? That's okay, but the uh, LLC is limited liability. So it tells you exactly what it is. It's for, it's for risky things. So you're a welder, that's a very risky thing. Right, I was a welder. I'd make big yards to merge, you know, <laughs> aluminum, <laughs> aluminum <laughs> you know, underwater, you know, <laughs> you know uh, uh, submerged. It is it's not a, it's a C corporation. The, co the company that I mentioned is called Wholesale Shelf Court. They sell pork for like five year old pork for like 14,000. We sell them too, but we wouldn't sell them at that price. They don't help you do anything. They just give you a pork and buy, right? And then it's, and then it's also public. So thanks to the C corporation. That is aid, so you don't have to wait three years for the bank before the bank will deal with you. They don't deal with babies and rookies, right? So to get around that, you just become an age corporation, and uh, you never buy it online. You know, get it, get it, get those a list sent to your email, and you send it back, and you correspond that way, not online, right? So once you do that. If you don't have the money for the seed corp, then get yourself some funding, some seed money with your LLC, and then get the right corporation and right structure, because you're not going to be able to go up with an LLC and reach the sky like this brother Donovan and, and, and Once you sign up, then, then you're assigned to, to someone who's going to uh, uh, guide you through a lot of the things that we, we believe are going to help you be prepared for funding. Your field, they don't like your field, number one. Number two, they don't like LLC, so you got two problems. It's a limited liability corporation. So you walk up to a female and they give you a number, you double limited, you're gonna be like, what? <laughs> and I and I got liability. You're like, uh, how long you had that problem? You know, I don't, I don't got time for that. So same thing with the bank, you're limited in liability. 
Next thing is your welding. That's very dangerous. So that's two problems, right? So Gonna, what you call that? Uh, never name a never name a corporation or C corporation a specific name because you're locking yourself into uh, 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 a sick code that they may not like. So, somebody, you ever notice Apple doesn't mean computers? You ever notice that that uh, uh, Walmart doesn't mean cheap clothes? Sears doesn't mean you know whatever they sell. Uh, 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 uh. What about the coffee? Starbucks doesn't mean coffee because they they know better. Amazon doesn't mean anything. It just means big. Amazon Amazon is no field. There's no no stick code for Amazon. So you want ABC Inc. You know, uh Yellow Yellow Feet Incorporated. You know? <laughs> you know. And then you take your LLC and put it underneath your C Corp. So you can keep your same name, do a bit of as ABC, you know, ugly shoes. Not shoes, but you know, ABC Incorporated, uh do a business as such and such welding or whatever your company is. That's right. Exactly. You're welcome, brother. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Is there another lady? How about Carolyn Battle Black? Bank notes, you either go to loss mitigation or you go to a, 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 a note broker. Got it? Somebody's snoring. Wow. So you want to go to a note broker online that sells notes go to the bank and go to the bank and ask for loss mitigation. Look up notes. I would like to purchase some notes. Don't overthink it. I mean, all these people have all this money. That's, they're not geniuses. They just know something you don't know. You're welcome. Is there, is there, do you understand? I don't want you walking away from going to store and leaving here and saying, I don't understand. That's the worst thing that could, that could, that's one of the worst things in the world. Do you understand? That's why you have to do your investigation. I'm here to guide you 
So when you go home, you have to go do uh, some of your own homework. So when you go home, you look on the internet. If you want to get in the notes, you want to be smarter than everybody on that internet. So you want to go in and say, okay, notes. What kind of notes are there? There's performing notes and non-performing notes. Non-performing notes means somebody's not paying them their bills. They could be in a house, right, and they're not paying the mortgage. That's non-performing. So the bank has to get rid of that because they cannot lend out on their books nine times the amount of money they lend out because that's just against the rule. You can't have too many people not paying. So that benefits you. And then you have a performing note where people are in the house and they're paying, but the bank has gotten 20 years of money out of it. They're ready to sell it so they can have an influx of more money to do more things. So they'll sell you that. Performing, non-performing. Then there's, you know, a non-performing where people are in the house. There's non-performing where people are not in the house. Uh, but, you know, uh, they could, because so, so somebody could own the house and not live there, Right? So that's the, that is the owner's not in the house, but you know, the people who are renting it are uh, in there, but they're not paying. Performing, non performing. So take that and just and just uh, ask the computer about what types of notes are there. There's also everything is a note. The dollar bill in your pocket is a note. Read it. It says, it says, uh, 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 Federal Reserve notes. The car that you buy, you keep you, it's, a, it's a note. It's a, it's, a, it's a promissory note. I'm going to buy this and I'm going to pay you this amount. It's your car, but it, they own the paper. Even credit cards, you're going to pay us on this? There's people paying on credit cards and some people are not. The bank will get rid of those at three cents on the dollar. It's a great business. Uh, purchasing notes, uh, credit card notes, car notes, jet notes. <laughs> jet notes. They're big. No. I've, I've taken the time to try to break it down so it's not that uh, 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 complicated. I could talk, I could talk to you in legally terms, like uh, you know, uh, all these, these terms that you would be like, "What is he talking about?" But people do that on purpose. So it could be bad, but you know, uh, that's what I like about Sean and Kyle. They don't come at you like an SEC. Uh, 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 attorney, they're, they're not saying they're attorneys. They come at you from like they're regular people, you know, that's giving you the information down to earth, like Malcolm X used to say, make it plain. Okay. What's your number? Okay.
Okay. How long ago did you pick out the names on your course? February what? 26. Okay, so I'll give you a call or somebody give you a call tomorrow. You're welcome. You're welcome. Welcome. Have a good night. Let's see who's next. Let's see if we can. Uh... Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Garnett. Okay. What's your question? Thank you, sir. Funding. Okay. Funding. Okay, so so can you form that in a question? Okay, you need to go in to the Secretary of State and make sure that it's in good standing. And if it's not, pay the back payments to make it good standing. And then at the same time, go to dial that number and get an assessment. It's free. So the questions that we all have here, uh, you, you're more likely going to be going to dial that number. That's what that's what you're more likely going to be doing. All right. So this way, people, somebody can actually look at what you have and not just give you a brief answer right here on the on the uh, you know the internet. You're welcome, brother. Well, that yes, that's why I gave you that number because they're going to go over it. They're going to go over that, you know, see where you are. You're welcome. I raise them. If we talk to Christian Jordan. All right. How about Vaughn? Good. Okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, put me down. Oh. 
No. no, don't dive into anything. It's not about the money. We don't, we're not looking for your money. You keep your 10000 and go and get your credit together. I need your money. Huh? Yes, you can do that. It's a lot cheaper. And you still... Uh, if you have the means to do both of them, then you do that. But if you don't have the means, don't spend your last because you got to always have some kind of something that you can, you know what I mean, rely on. I don't know if you have children or what. <laughs> I know I, I had a bunch of rug rats. I had a bunch of them. So I don't know what they do to your pocket, but um, no, you know, if you have the means to take care of credit and get the court at the same time, get them built up so you can go through the finish line at the same time, then that's fine. But if you, uh, you know, if, if I don't want you saying that's my last and we just want to, you know, dive in, uh, I don't like the way that sounds. So I need you to, uh, you know, we're not that money hungry where we're talking about, well, I want you to succeed. I don't want you to be saying, well, oh, Lord, you know, I hope this works. I hope this, hope this works. You know, you don't need pressure. You know what I mean? You don't need pressure. I know I sound like a fool. They just, man, we say, we're going to give him $10,000. He said, no. But we're not all of this. No, that's right. That's why you have a good wife. <laughs> You're welcome. So dial that number and see if they can go in and, and uh, do something with that credit. Uh, you know, make sure that you have money so that you can, you know, have some little, some little, some little nest egg, something, you know, that you can say. Just, you know, you never know. Little things go on. You say, oh, we got the money we can take care of. While you get that credit done, when you get why you get that credit, if you get that credit done, you off to the race. Right, right. And have a, and have an assessment. You know, you may be able to go in and get a corporation without spending the money. We, we may be able to work something with you. You never know. I'm here to help. All right. All right. You, know, sister, you take care of that man. He almost slipped up. Slipped up. <laughs> All right, love y'all. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Ross. Okay. Marion, what's your question? All right, Dan, what is your question? Marion. Okay, Marion, what's your question first? Good. No, dial that number that we put up there and have Bobby look at what's going on. Have him what's going on. That's right. You need credit for fun. You get credit for pension then credit.
damn, this, you ain't got to, I mean, you go into the bank, you ain't got to put in work, you ain't got to put in, you ain't got to do none of that. You could go in there and go get some money from the bank, you know, and look, <laughs> you got to do it. But you always have the suit on, right? So, I mean, so I know there's a there's a better way than just looking for dope, you know? Go in and you stack your chips with the bank, and then if, if you, if you, if, if you screw up, you say, you say, you know what? Uh-oh, I didn't screw up. The corporation really screwed up. Bye, Willie. Bye. Go back. Sure, that's how, that's how to do it. There it is. Just the right in. Okay. So that's how the rich does it. The rich don't work. I don't mean to say that. I don't want I don't want people to get the wrong idea that you should not work. But I'm just trying to get to the grass loose of this. If you, if what does the bank work? What does the bank do? They just give you some money and you go out and go buy the damn house and you go and pay them for lending for the for on the money. They sit back and, and sit back in the bank and, and watch you work. You should go get the money, right? Like 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 I remember back in the day, you know, everybody was running around selling weed. I come from a time where weed was illegal. You have a seed, you go to jail, right? A seed, right? So I remember all the cats used to go and, you know, and do like sell weed and everything. But there was one smart guy. He was the guy who gave everybody the money to go get the weed. He didn't sell weed. He had no risk. So you go out and figure out who wants to work. Everybody gonna raise their hand. If you say who wants to be a billionaire, everybody gonna raise their hand. If you say who wants to be a millionaire first before you say billionaire, everybody gonna raise their hand. I have seminars with five and ten thousand people, and I say to them, okay, who wants five hundred thousand dollars? I say, raise your hand. Everybody say, ah, they raise both their hands. And then I say, okay, okay, keep your hand up. Now, who wants a million dollars? And they look at each other like, ah. <laughs> and then I say, scrap that. It's level for this. Who wants to be a billionaire because you got these guys on here showing you how to do that? We're trying to show you that. It ain't what? Right? And if I say, who wants to be a billionaire? Everybody's going to raise their hand. And then if I say, after that, who wants to be a millionaire? Ain't nobody going to raise their hand. Yes, sir. Yes, that's called stated income. Stated, you're walking in with the C court, and you're going to say, what documents do you have? You're going to say, none. I'm going stated and no doc. They're going to say, well, who is going to guarantee we're going to get this money that we lend Willie Corporation? Willie's the person. And, you, and they're going, you're going to say, I'm going to guarantee it because I have good credit. I have a good fight goal. That's the Roy, what name you like? Harry? Erase every look. You are gonna take the red pill today, all right? Like the matrix, not the blue pill, the red pill. They're gonna take that thing out the back of your head, and you're gonna wake up and say, "I, I didn't know." That's what you're gonna take right now, okay? Red pill. Forget about all the stuff that you thought about. And I'm telling you, from banking, I used to train these people. I know that people get money like this.
my job my job is to is to in the morning time to help companies get a bunch of money right athletes uh uh famous uh that's my job and in the nighttime on tuesdays and thursdays is to come in and show you people like you and others on how this thing semi works because i've done good i've done well and i am sitting around saying to myself all this stuff that they're teaching it's only a little piece of what they're teaching, and I have the, the benefit of God because I'm a godly man. And I've had the benefit of being able to do good well. I'm talking, I'm talking like you wouldn't believe. Planes and jets, and I've had I've been around all of it, and Rolls Royces and all that. That stuff from Cartier's and Rolex and all that. Don't move me like that no more. But since you never had it, I don't fault young folks for wanting to have a nice chain and to wanting to have the Rolls Royce and to wanting to have the Lamborghini because you didn't have it. So when people talk about, oh, yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, all they do is ride around them cars and you're buying, spending their money up on chains. Why not? You never had it. So go in and get it, have fun, but be careful. But who's gonna teach you how to get it? Why you wanna look at Jay-Z and you're looking at everybody, you're gonna find a way to go get it. And it may not be good for you. So I'm trying to show you so that you don't have to put in work. So you can say, hey man, where you going? Oh, we get ready to put in work. Man, get in the car, man. I told you I'm putting in work. I gotta come up. Get in the car, where we going? To the bank. Now we could change things a little bit. Because it ain't our mamas and daddies' fault that they didn't know they didn't know. But now when you have kids, you can straighten your kids out too. We gotta reach the young folks. And if I ask you, how old are you guys? How old are you? Marion, how old are you? How old are you? Or the brothers that I was talking to, how old are you, you guys? Okay, how old is the other brother? So, so, Wow, how many guys you got? You guys here. No, I used to I used to own a bank. I I I used to own a bank called Cali Land in San Diego. I also I also own a car dealership that's Primo Auto in San Diego. Primo and Prime two car dealership, but for for like like before you were born, right? So so Prime Auto is one car dealership here. Right here, it's 6920 Miramar Road in San Diego. They sell Nissan, Toyota, and Honda. And the high end sells Jaguar, Mercedes, and Bentley. Right? We also, we also own Home Style Fish and Chips, a chain of restaurants. Home Style Fish and Chips, a chain of restaurants. We also own Servo Motion Studios, 79 acres of, of film studios with robots. 
right outside of the, the TMZ, the 30 mile zone, right out of out of LA. We also own the Mexican Golden Jewelry, a jewelry store that sells diamonds. You got to do something with this money, brother. I managed over 20.2 billion of of MPN market traded notes. I teach people like basketball players and football players. And you can go to my website, which is economicmasonry.com, economicmasonry.com. And you can see basketball players and people who, who make senators and congressmen that are there telling you, thank you, Derek, for helping me. I'm the backdoor guy that you never see. But I'm tired of people selling all this stuff on the internet that's not legit. The pieces of it are good, but you need to have the whole nine. So I've done well, and I'm trying to have you succeed. That's why I'm here. Some people come in and try to give me money. I say, I don't want it. Some people that are on here that got out of jail, and I said, if you don't go back to jail and I help you, you will not go, don't you go back to jail. Some people in my class, there's a lot of them that did not pay. I just put them in there. So it's not about the money. It's about me trying to get to you and say to you, we got to change this thing. So some of you guys are young enough to be my grandkids. I just look like this. <laughs> okay. So I want you to know that somebody cares about you. Somebody cares about you. So you can go out and get your money. The last thing you need to worry about is money. Because as you grow and as you get older, that job will wear on you. It will wear you down and you will do whatever you need to do to take care of your kids. Because one day you'll probably have some if you don't have some now. <laughs> and take care of your woman and protect your woman. You got to start doing man stuff. So that's who I am. And that's what I do. And that's what I've chosen to do today. It's not all about the money. So if you want more references, I can give you more. So dial the number, go in and see if we can help you out. Yes, it is true. You can go in with stated income and, and, and no money. It's your FICO and the corporation. This is based on credit. We live in a credit world. We don't live in a money world. The bank, big people don't care about how much money you're showing. 250000 They look at that like any. You can have one of these right here. This is unlimited. This is the money, the fake money, unlimited. Wouldn't it be nice for you to be 30 years old and own an apartment complex? Wouldn't that be nice? That's what I want you to do, okay? Don't say they don't give me no money. They give, they, they give me money. Why wouldn't they give you money? I'm the same as you, flesh and blood. It's just you don't have the knowledge. So let's each one, teach one, go in. I ain't Malcolm X, I ain't Martin Luther King, but I'm Derek Whitehead. And I'm just doing my piece. And we all got to do something here, not to just exist. There's a reason that you're here. And everybody that's on here this late at night, there's a reason that you're here. Everybody ain't meant to be rich or everybody would be on here. Everybody ain't on here. Just us. And we ain't going to never get this time back. So we came all around the world just to be here together. So take advantage of it. Let's, let's get it popping. All right. Thank you, brother. I just Mr. Whitehead preaching again. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, uh, uh, this is a, 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 a passion. 
of mine. And so I consider everybody out here that's on here is, uh, you know, part of me. <laughs> I started this thing, so I have to take this serious. And I know the people that I'm with, and Sean and Kyle, I've known these guys for 30 years. And I know they are good, they have good hearts, and they're godly men. I don't know about godly, but I know it is a spiritual, with spiritual men. Thank God. <laughs> so let's rock. Let's get rocking and rolling. Let's get busy. Don't, don't sit around and say, hey, uh, I can't learn this. You can learn every record that's on the internet. I bet your break came on. You can learn that. You know, you know. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to stop preaching. So let's go. We got one more question. Dan, it's getting late. Uh, what's your question, brother? Yes, what's your question? You don't need the five lines, but it, but it helps you get maximum funding. You want maximum Sure, I'm not looking at this stuff right now because I'm uh, in front of me, but that's why I say dial that number so you can get an assessment of what's really going on. People tell me things all the time, and then when I look at it, if they, they think they're horrible, but they're not. And they think they're great, and they're not. <laughs> so you need to be assessed. So uh, we set up the stuff here where you can go in and they'll look at your stuff and answer all your questions. You'll know where you're at instead of guessing. That's why we that's why we have a new number. A number where we can have Gabriel is not a, is not is not a person that's going to assess your information. So we set up to where you can have your stuff assessed for free. You go online, we talk that, you know, because people have children that work for us and all kinds, of, they can't work for free. But we uh but we're gonna do this for free. We're gonna Yeah, I gave you the information. I, I, you don't need me. You only need me if there's something you want me to help you with. But you can go to B N B, the the number, the letter B N and and B N, the letter N N, not N A N B N B N B, financial, and sign up with them and sell your credit. Yeah, that's because I wanted to get you here so I could give you more info. <laughs> All those things are free. All that's free. Right? Yeah, well, it's getting to the point now where we have so many people trying to help until it's very difficult to just do free. It is very difficult. I'm actually coming out of my pocket. So, uh, but as long as I can do it, as long as I will do it. All right. Well, you know, a uh, uh, lot of people are, are fearful because so many people are like just trying to come up, you know, on the internet, just trying to, you know, run scams and play play little games, you know. Uh, 
But in my in, in my uh, opinion, knowledge overpowers fear. You can have a brother that is six foot, seven foot two, and he's a threat. But you know that he got a bad leg. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not that much of a threat anymore, is he, right? <laughs> you know, well, all pop that leg. It's like, oh, yeah, there's not that much of a threat. So knowledge uh, erases fear. Right? So just as much as you can. That's right. That's right. So that's what we want to do. The money is no they're not going to get a million dollars on the first choice that I, I would not sit here and lie to you like people on the internet do right this isn't like a get like a overnight get with success this is a road map but but you have to travel the road all right <laughs> No, you you you're going way up. First, you have to get some seed money. Then you have to get some foundation capital. Then you got to get some some uh, springboard funding, and then you go into private equity, and then or you can go in and take the company public. It depends on where you are. So this is not like a cookie cutter program or a, or a cookie cutter. This is finding out where you are and seeing where you are. It's like you could have an 800 credit score and have a great port built up and you in the house with $500,000. It depends on where you are. Or you can go in and start out and hmm? oh, No, I just said, I just said to someone else, well, I think you. You don't necessarily need five trade lines to get funding, you know. But if but you want maximum funding, then you should have uh, five trade lines. If you have five trade lines, uh, uh, ten trade lines, but you got five names and and five different uh, and 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 uh, and uh, ten inquiries, that's that's another area that's going to hold you back from, you know, maximum funding. So you need to have all the things I've mentioned, right, uh, in, in, in order for maximum funding. Now, what if you already have a business that's, that's running well? Then, uh, then you, you're going in and getting, you know, $300,000. What if you don't have a business that you just starting out? Then maybe you're going in like this person that you just showed on here. Uh, they got 150,000 today. One bank, and then he'll go back in, and 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 he'll get some more. And then once that hits his credit report, the bank is going to ease up and say, "Hey, you're paying this bill before the bill even comes out." So, well, well, if you do on the 15th. And you paid on the 15th, that's an 80 payback score. If you're due on the uh, 15th and you paid on the 10th, you paid it before it comes out, then that's a 90 payback. A payback is, a payback is like having an 80 payback is like having an 800 credit score. It's a person, but they don't call it credit score. They call it payback. If you pay the bill before it even comes out, that's a 91. It don't go over to 100. So now the bank is so relaxed when they see that after you paid your bill and it hits. 
So it's in tranches. So what is a tranche? A tranche is three weeks to a month and a half. That's how long it takes for your bill to show up on your business credit report. It could take more, but that's pretty much the median. Once it shows up, now you're ready for your next source of funding. So I'm not saying you have to sit around forever for a million dollars, but don't go too fast or they will red flag you. I understand banking at a high level. Nobody's going to teach you this on the internet. The inner working. Uh, in my opinion, yes, but I'm not looking at your stuff, so I can't say definitely about anything. Even if person looking at your stuff, it is illegal to say definite, yes, 100%, because nothing is 100%. I say now, I'm going to give you $5 in the morning, and then the whole world ends, and you're, now we're up in heaven talking about you suing me in heaven court. You said you going to give me $5 a month. Well, tomorrow didn't happen. Well, uh, I ain't got nothing to do with that. You said it. But you can't. <laughs> well, it's not easy. Yeah, well, it's not even whether they tighten it up or not, because it's always, in banking, there's always a product uh, for lending. If you notice, when, when, when poor people are suffering, rich people are making more money. Because when poor people lose, rich people just buy it up at a discount, and they smile all the way back, right? So in a bad economy, you notice that uh, Rolls Royces keep selling. Yeah, somebody else is using that term, so I don't want to use it. But um, <laughs> well, you know, uh, I take my hat off to a lot of these guys that that are doing things. I don't know too much about about them, but I know that. They came out, they started teaching and, and, and having people understand, you know, other ways of, of making money. Uh, and, you know, rather than working your butt off. So I take my hat off to those guys. I don't know a lot about, you know, exactly what they were teaching, but I know that they were uh, they were out there doing their thing. And I'm, and I'm a proud, proud of anybody out there doing their thing. And trying to get the public to miss the mission. We need to stop being haters, right? <laughs> All right, that'll be the last question tonight. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, thank you, Kyle. Thank you, Sean, my main man, uh, Donovan. Man, you done stepped out. You done stepped out. You may do your thing. And uh, is there anything that you want to say in closing, Kyle, Sean, Donovan?
Wow. All right. Thank you very much. I see some people here uh, still have questions like Nathan Waji. Uh, we're going to be on here on Thursday also. So we still open for questions. Um, anybody that haven't gotten to your question, it'll be a Thursday and hop on economicministry.com so that we can get to your questions, right? Because a lot of times I can't, I got like six, six cameras here. I got TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, and, and then I, and then, uh, the Zoom, uh, and so I'm not able to click back and forth and see everybody's questions, but it's easier if you hop on economicministry.com, come here. And raise your hand, then I can attempt to ask you a question or Kyle or Sean if they grace us with their presence. Uh, they're very busy and it's late where they are, and they still have given up themselves to hop stay on here uh, late. So I want to thank you uh, for, for giving back, and that's our whole thing. I know these guys for years, and I know it's not all about the money. And either it's for Millie or nobody else in this group. So I want to close by saying, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. We want you to succeed. If I sit here all day and teach all day and you don't teach the children, you are wasting my time and you're wasting your time. And I want to thank those young brothers that came on here. Um, we need more of you. And if you have large platforms, let somebody know about this. Don't, don't be like uh, information hoarding. Right? So also we have, a, we have an affiliate program. So if somebody comes in. Get the corporation from us or whatever, you get a thousand dollars if it's not discounted. That's true, right? And uh and uh and there's other things that we can learn to make ourselves money, not only fixing our credit and doing things, but we can take this and help other people and make money off of it. Right? So think about this stuff and how can I how can I maneuver maneuver this stuff and make money, you know, uh off of off we're talking about. Everybody doesn't know this stuff you're talking about. So if you guide them through your platform and they come through you, say, I want you to come on here, I'll take down all your names, and they go in and we help them, and they get a corporation or whatever, you get paid, right? Uh, so if you help somebody else, I guarantee you, uh, whatever is buttering, buttering your bread, and you know who that is, right, they will give help you, right? So, in saying and closing with Derek White here with 350 CEOs, we are Alpha Incorporated. We are not uh, brokers and not finance and attorneys. We are consultants. And we believe everybody on here is a friend, so we can give you this information freely as a friend from our perspective. That is comes from Kyle and Sean and anyone else on here that are affiliate. This is our perspective. All right? Uh, so, we can't be Martin Luther King. We can't be Malcolm X. But I could be Derek Whitehead, this could be Kyle Freeman, this could be uh, Sean, right? And uh, Donovan and everybody on here, we could do our part. So what I want to do is to spread this. I want to make 25,000 millionaires, 25, not thousand, that's a lot. That's 2,500 by 2025. 2,500 millionaires. And that's not a hard thing to do. Okay, that's not hard thing to do. So let's, uh, let's take the knowledge, go out. Knowledge is not power, right? The application of knowledge. So if you take it, don't do nothing with it. Same on you. That's not power. So in closing, I want to close on a good note. And uh, I want to say,
who's going to teach you all this on the end there for free? And when I say that, I want everybody at the same time, because we all come in all late, right? I want everybody to say at the same time when I raise my hand and say, nobody. So ready? Who's going to teach you all this on the internet for free? Ready? Yeah, I love you. You're welcome. Oh, nobody. <laughs> 